a little bit. <laughs> Jim's not that good. <laughs> How did the farmer find his missing cow? Oh, God. I don't know, with Moo Cool or something. He tracked her down. <laughs> You know how copper wire was invented? No. Two Jews fighting over a penny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Reg. <laughs> oh, go, 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 Varnon! Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to another episode of In The Doghouse, the podcast that's hosted by a cowboy that thinks he's a mechanic and the mechanic that thinks he's a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're back. Yes. Yeah, uh, before anyone bitches and moans, yes, I am slightly ill. That's why I sound like dog shit and I don't fucking care. Oh, wow. Jesus, we're coming out hot out the gate here, Marlon. Right, let's go. Uh, Ring the fucking bell. Another happy Marlon for <laughs> housekeeping. <laughs> Right, uh, buy hoodies. They're back in stock now. Yes. Get them out of my house, please, because I got two rooms full up with hoodies. <laughs> so angry. <laughs> we love you, millions. Please buy hoodies. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, new merchandise is in the works. Uh, the hoodies are there. What else we got on there, Marlon? What so, else? Uh, we got new lanyards coming. I haven't quite finalised the design yet, so they might be in stock. They might not be. Ooh. There is the summer t-shirt coming out, which should be... It might actually be live so by the time you listen to this. <laughs> so good. Um, we have Gylos Knock It Into A Sandwich t-shirt. Double-sided print, mine. What? With the biggest dog Why does Gylo logo? always get the best print? I know. He Everything is yeah. double-sided. Yeah, it is, it's the biggest doghouse logo on the back. Like, literally, the full back. When, when they were like, we can't do that print area. We're like, do it. <laughs> do it, or she'll send the army. <laughs> I'll take you out to the back and shoot you. Uh, Marlon, flags. What's the deal with the, the flags of our dear leader? Um, so, we have had enough interest. I am going to order some flags. They might be here by the time you listen to this. They might not be. I don't care. Please describe to me. I haven't actually seen the mock up of these flags. Is so, it, is it, it just is. Before? You haven't even got a sticker in here, have you? I, no, I don't because I dropped one in Nashville. As in, like, I, I slammed one on a place in Nashville. I can't remember where I was so pissed. I was going to so, talk about it last time, but I couldn't remember where it did. is. Um, Gylo's flag. It's Gylo's own creation. It's a big block of cheese. <laughs> With the Soviet star behind it. <laughs> yeah. The Democratic People's Republic of Cheddar. <laughs> yeah, it looks really fucking good, actually. It does. It's actually like, I think Cheddar should adopt it as their flag. I, we can make them try. It's probably by just, force. Probably just, <laughs> they could do it willingly or by force. <laughs> Yeah, so there's going to be very limited stock of those available. Um, obviously, I will put up on the socials when they do arrive at my door. Awesome. Right, sweet. Uh, a massive shout out to the sponsor of this episode, Orly Fox. So I rang Kieran today and I said, very, spe very special episode, Kieran. Um, is there anything you want me to talk about in particular? And he said, yeah. Yeah, said, tax dodge him. <laughs> No, 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 that's no. not what he does. Uh, and uh, he said, no, uh, nothing really, Reg. He said, can you just tell people about the people that have got in touch through your podcast? And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, I like well, that. Yeah, he said, well, I've had a lot of phone calls and a lot of business from, you know, the people that listen, of obviously looking for an accountant. And he said, just wanted to go at three things that he just wanted to say. Uh, he just wanted to make clear. He said, uh, he said that, is the comments that you've had, he says, everyone has told me that I'm really easy to talk to and a really nice guy as an accountant. Well, I mean, we've sat down for hours with him in here and I've chatted to him for ages, so I know that he's a sound bloke. He, he is a really nice guy. When I nice say, bloke. like, oh yeah, Kieran's the boy, he'll sort you out, I literally mean it. I'm not just saying that because he's paying us. Like, Kieran is a fucking champion. So, yeah, everyone was like, he's like one of the easiest accountants to talk to. They're like, oh, when I speak to my accountant, they're like, hello, yes. There'll be some money you'll need to pay. Whereas Karen's like, oh, shag. <laughs> Keen on it. <laughs> It'll be all right, shaggy. Um, uh, yeah, and a lot of people have been asking him, like, oh, I've always got to move accountants because I want to go over to you guys. It's so easy. It's so easy to change accounts. Literally, all you need to do is tell your accountant, look, you I'm, shit, um, I'm going somewhere else. Quite literally, just be like, I I'm, I'm looking to leave or I'm going to go in a different direction. And uh, oh, a big K will be in touch, boy. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Just be like, yo, Kieran from Orly Fox is going to be in touch. And they take everything over from there. That that's is all you need so to do. easy. Notify your accountant that you're looking to leave. Let them know who's going to be getting in contact, which will be Kieran from Orly Fox. They sort the rest of it out. It's not a big hoo-ha. There's not fucking millions of forms to fill in. 
let them know. Seamless. Go. Seem it is literally, you know, these so like these banks that are just like, oh yeah, just let your what well, we if you want to change banks, just tell us and we'll sort of all out literally like that. Boom. Literally just get in touch with Kieran, get in touch with your account. She's like, look, I'm I'm off. Um, this is who's gonna be taking it over from now. They'll be in touch. And Kieran's like, Don't worry, boy, I got it from here. You go back to doing work, I'll go back to sorting your fucking finances out. So he's the boy. So there we go. Massive shout out to Kieran from Hold on. Oil. You said there were three things. You listed one. <laughs> no, I've done two. I said how easy it was to talk to. Yeah. How easy it is to move. Okay. And then I realized that I've got two other ad reads to do in this episode. So I thought I'd save the third one for um for the beer of the week. And then I'd make something up at the end, which is what I usually do. <laughs> <laughs> and Just... before we go anywhere else, <laughs> a huge shout out to the Patreons. Yay! Patreons! <laughs> I don't know you what are, that was. Tell, it, 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 was gay, some, it? it was something. That was really cringy, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. <laughs> we just moved Thanks, past Olivia, that. Thanks, Olivia, you fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Been in for one episode. Oh, yeah. We're all friends now. Fuck you, Reg. Yeah, fuck We're really Reg. getting into a flow of things, aren't we? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> fuck it up. <laughs> Patreons, as we've said numerous fucking times before, without you we would not still be going. Yes. We are still here because of you scumbags supporting us, supporting this fucking podcast. Quite literally. Um, yeah, uh, just on that same vein, next bar crawl, we're starting to put a date together for where it's going to be. Where's it going to be, Marlon? I'm not telling you. Oh, okay. Well, uh, it's going to be Patreon only. Is the be all and end all because we have, it's going to be numbered because it's gotten too big now. <laughs> we Do we get to come? Uh, if, if, you enjoy, if you enjoy the fucking Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, our listeners are like, yeah, fuck them. Yeah, <laughs> get them. <laughs> yes, you can come if you're Thanks. Patreon. Yeah, no. Um, so yeah, uh, next dude's going to be Patreon only. Sorry, but that's just the way it's got to go now because it's just, it's just it's too, too big. big. It's too big. There's nowhere that will take us. We have to reserve it. We have to give first shout or probably only shout with the amount of people that are going to come to the guys that support us. So that's how it is. Yeah, sweet. Absolutely incredible turnout out of the last one. Mm -hmm. It was good. And uh, Discord, always popping. The horrendous things I've seen on there this week. You can't unsee them. Scar me for life. But there we go. Uh, awesome. Right, Marlon. Who are we joined by this evening if you haven't fucking already worked um, out? So we have Olivia back on. Hello. No? <laughs> right. I'm about to go. <laughs> I was just like, you're just going to leave it hanging there. Like, what about Abby? <laughs> Fuck Abby. <laughs> I'll go home then. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let him have his cough for fuck's sake. He's not very well. Oh, I'll put in. <laughs> and Abby back on. Hey. Who are you? Welcome Thank back. Thank you for coming back on. Yeah. Thanks for having us. No, no, it's a pleasure. Not so much Abby. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> was the only one invited thank you very much oh let's not get into <laughs> this fucking nonsense Jesus Christ fucking women don't worry you were invited the second time I oh, know thank god <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Mary <laughs> someone's Mary. going in the attic so yeah in front of the lens behind the lens Abby and Olivia thank you for coming back <laughs> on guys uh, yeah how, how, how's the week been Abby um, mine's been alright um, yeah? yeah I've now moved house um, officially down in Devon so I am Jobless. I say jobless. <laughs> Self-employed. Um, yeah. <laughs> You're not in the dog queue, yeah, put it that okay. way. No. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've been busy still sorting that, painting. Um, all of a sudden taking on lambing of a mm. night. I just see some... Uh, oh, that some, sounds like fun. Uh, yeah, that no, fucking sucks, mate. It's, uh, no. I, it's, and considering it's, it's voluntary work, uh, no. No. Um, I didn't get paid. No, Scott doesn't, my boyfriend doesn't get up in the night, so I go. <laughs> I love how delicate yes. this. <laughs> yeah. How many, kind of how many use you got, Lamin? Um, we're like pretty much done, so there's only like seven left. Well, how many like Oh, I think it was 130. Oh right, yeah. So yeah. Keeping, you're keeping you fucking keeping you busy. Yeah. How many twins do you have? I don't know all this. I'm I'm I don't go that often. <laughs> do they like, usually it's just like, like, get now. on the dog camera? Get Scott up now. <laughs> <laughs> Stop yeah. asking do they do they usually have like one a um, you was, or no, I think they've had a lot of doubles, a lot of triplets. They had a quintuplet, which wow. is five. Um, wow. Fucking hell. I think there's only been like two, maybe three singles. Oh, that's fucking good then, really. Yeah, yeah the idea is you all want all doubles or right. triples and anything about that can cause issues. So doubles is like the twins is what you want all the time. Yeah. Oh, it's good then. 
So, yeah, that's kept me busy. And then we've been car shopping today. Yes. <laughs> so we just chatted about off off uh, off topic, uh, off, off mic. Uh, what are you going to tell people what you've been looking at or not? Um, I've been looking at an Evoke. Yeah? Yeah. 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 50 salesmen. Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 Actually, maybe I shouldn't do it. that till I make the sale, like, <laughs> buy it. <laughs> nah, they don't know where you're buying it from. Fuck them. Um, yeah, so Land Rover, as I well know, <laughs> I'm well fucking versed in this over, over the last 22 fucking months. Uh, yeah, they're great, aren't they? they Shit. Re- they really care it, about the, the Their no. customer service is like their car reliability. <laughs> they're fucking hypocritical, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, you think, like... You'd think a salesman's job is made on commission, so like he actually wants to sell yeah, cars. He wants to he be wants a nice, nice bloke. Yeah. He wants to invite actually, you in, be yeah. all warm. No. Pick up the fucking phone to him. He's there, like, nope, they don't care. They don't give a shit. No. Because they sell so many that they you're just your you're business? just one person. They don't care. You're buying an Evoke, not £125,000 fucking Vogue. That old matey that buys one of those every six months. Come on in, sit down, have a coffee. Everything like everything all right? Do you want to like, um, any strippers? Do you want to like, stroke <laughs> something? I don't know. <laughs> do you want to... I just it's wanted to test drive around somewhere. I wanted to test drive. They were like, you might have to come back for an appointment. A fucking appointment just to test drive one. I know. It's it's obscene. The, the worst part is about the, the defender, they were just they, there's no there's no test drives. It's like you either want it or you don't. There's a fucking there's a two year waiting list, mate. Like <laughs> we don't need you. Yeah, we don't we don't yeah. need you. We don't need the other fucking four thousand people that buy them every month that we haven't got a capacity for in the factory because <laughs> they're only they only sell they bought the factory to sell 5,000 a month. They are getting 9,000 orders a month. So they, they just don't care. They just like, don't fucking care. I had a list of things I would have liked. Um, and basically he came out with, you can't have them all. We don't do all of it. <laughs> I'm like, with that budget, if obviously if you went elsewhere, you might be able to get it. But uh, there were things I wanted. Mm. Um, they don't make them like that anymore. No. Obviously. Because they've run out of chips and all yeah, the rest yeah, yeah. Of it. That's how tell me about it. I couldn't get a fucking sunglasses holder because we can't get the fucking little gear mechanism. <laughs> so I've just got a really nice blank in the ceiling. <sighs> yeah, seriously. Check oh, on eBay after a few get rid don't of. Don't Jesus. Even get me sorry. Oh, that is sickening. Yeah. Where are you supposed to put your bloody sunglasses? Oh, I just don't know. Put it on your head. In the other fine. fourteen other storage compartments I've got, but it's a specific <laughs> place in the roof liner for it. But, yeah, yeah, sounds awful. It's a, it's a it hard is, life. Yeah, hard life. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's been my week. Pretty, nice pretty standard. Yeah. So what? What? Uh, where are we on this evoke? Um, <clears throat> I can hear the timing chain from here. Oh, shut up! Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I've had two years. So just ignore him. Um, I we've seen one I yeah. like. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not. Yeah, obviously it's in Chesterfield. What? Where else would it be? Of yeah. course, yeah. Um, oh, but we can get it down here. Yeah, yeah. Um, only if you only... buy it, you can't get it down. The no, 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 no. no. They won't not. just transfer. No. no, not unless you're actually because like... they're then paying money that you might not even buy it. Yeah, yeah. Fuck Never mind the money that they refund anyway. CW like Audi a... still do that. Sounds like a road trip. No, when I went to Audi, when was that? Three years ago. They wouldn't do it. So do you have to pay for it in full before it comes down? I'm assuming yeah, so, yeah. Because I could reserve oh, it for £99 cunt. for 48 hours, that's but I've got to kind buy of it. cunty, because if it, you've paid for it in full and it turns mm. up and you go, well, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, and they go, well, it's not like my that. fucking problem, yeah. mate, you, you pay, pay for, for it, it now. Yeah. Yeah. Ta-da. So, and once um, it's at the showroom, sure, that's fucking it, lost its value. It wasn't we... the colour I wanted, so I'm going to have to get it wrapped. What colour are you going to have it wrapped? Black. Black, what, gloss black, satin black, matte black? Probably gloss. Gloss? You like satin. Ooh, I, I think they look a bit... Yeah, but I think it looks a bit chavy and matte black. Yeah, but sat- uh, satin's quite Could nice. Go like NATO green. No, no, no. There's a bloke that's... I'm not going to say it, actually, because he's a cage fighter and he might kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I, know the, I know the car yeah, you're yeah, on about. Yeah, I know. I, uh, yeah, I'll tell you off mic later. Um, yeah, no, the, the old man, my old man's got the um, 90 V8, um, and that's in... That's Carpathian, so he's half satin grey, and then the bonnet in the roof is uh, gloss black. Oh, very nice. Oh, I, I I thought I the the face that Abby is pulling is yeah. if there was a sound effect to go with it it would be that I thought that I was like fucking. No, I think you've got to see things so yeah. that's the and problem that's, that's the why thing, I'm worried yeah. exactly. spending this much much, yeah. much money and you can't actually see what it's like I think I think you'd be surprised when it comes I I really like Fuji White it's one of my favourite Land Rover colours I can't colors. with Devon and Red Mud yeah, but look, I think it looks good I think it looks good spattered in shit if you get it it, yeah, but it shows COVID. you've been fucking it's been used you're gonna get it washed aren't you so like it just I like things like covered in shite. Like, it just looks... <laughs> just your cars or your women as well? <laughs> I'm glad you said Insult it. Insult my wife! 
<laughs> well, I mean, she, 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 well, she does horses, so you know the school. She's that's well, it. So, that's yeah, what I both. tried to do, obviously. <laughs> both. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like, I like a horrible working woman. Sue me. <laughs> <laughs> but I think uh, Fuji is good color, man. I, I think you'll get it, and like you'll have it a month or so, and you'll be like, ah, oh, actually, this is no, because they'll send it straight to get wrapped. Oh, they'll, I, oh, they'll do it. They'll. I've still got to pay for it. But yeah, 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 but they'll, they'll deal they'll, with it. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, because I said, what's like the time sort of scale with it? Yeah. Because I had a date I need it by. Um, and with they that. said if they ring up rap. Rap uh, capital. Rap capital? Rap capital. <laughs> yeah, but you said cap rap it earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Every. laughs> um, and say, I need it in a week's time. They'll yeah. do it. So... It'll probably, I won't even see it. It'll probably just go straight there. Uh, I'm with you. Uh, yeah, yeah, sounds good. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. my week. Sweet. Can I, can I ask what year it is? One thing I forgot I didn't actually look at. It's a 21 play. Ah, let's fucking go. Yeah! Like new shiny things. <laughs> 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 it's not new, but I didn't. Yeah, really, I, don't yeah, wanna, yeah. I don't want the waiting list. Ah, bang a personal plate on it. Who the fuck's going to know? Well, this is the thing. That's why. Yeah, my plate now is 21. Not on that one? Yeah. Uh, ah. It's OF21 ABS. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like that. That's cool. Like that. I haven't even seen it. Man, yeah, that's so that's why I want to kind of keep. Yeah. Like, I can't go any. Oh, uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Older. Can't go any older than that. That is what it is. Fuck him. Fuck him. Well, what about yourself, Olivia? Everyone, oh, you, get yeah, ready for this one. Oh, so you've, you've been like, oh, can, careful. Can I clarify? Do you remember my answer to last time? Yeah. That it seems to be a running theme. Oh, no. <laughs> so this week we've been planning for my granny's funeral. Oh, um, fuck. So I think you've been jinxing our grandparents. So thanks for killing them off. Our That's grannies. Fantastic. We're in the granny <laughs> but, grief oh, group. <laughs> <laughs> we curse, Reg. Um, oh, wait till you join Dead Mum Club. It's fucking brilliant. Oh. I don't want to join that. I don't yet. want to Thanks. join that club. My mum's in that club. It's I feel great. really bad. It's great. We got t-shirts. Oh. <laughs> Can we do a granny grief club t-shirt? Granny <laughs> grief group. Come on, it's the triple oh, G, sorry. Marie. Oh, granny grief group. Oh well, so, uh, no, seriously, we are uh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> and then I sprained my ankle in the parlor, so I'm just having a great time at the moment. <laughs> March is my month. Was that was that the point where you just lost it? I was ready. No! I was like, I lose my mind because it so, was like the one month. Yeah, it was this. The Monday, Granny passed away, and so I had to obviously go off work and let help my mum and whatnot. And then, Skyber. yeah, and then the following week, I sprained my ankle in the parlour on the Sunday night and couldn't make it in on the Monday again. So Abby's there, Skyber. like, <laughs> Abby's there, like, what are you going to do this Monday to get off work? And I was <laughs> Just like, make up more excuses. Yeah, like. fantastic. So yeah, we had a lovely time in A and E. Yeah, oh, four hours <laughs> tip at A and E. They're very nice. It was better than X to it was eight much, to ten hours. Much better. What? Oh, don't. I went in on the Sunday evening and it was fast enough going through the triage and then the x-ray and then they were like, oh, it's going to be eight to ten hours before we can review your x-ray and put you through to a doctor. And I was like, I'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> so can so, you actually come back and like... Yeah, so because they had the x-ray on file, they were like, look, it's almost going to be better if you want to go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can, can hobble on home. You can, yeah, so instead they were like, Tivit will have it on their system and you can just go in and one of the doctors will review it there but you couldn't I still had to wait another four hours um, when we got into Tivit in the next day no but I got some work done so it's a bit like oh yeah we were going through business yeah well we can say it now because it's, oh, no, no, it's, it's out I didn't know yeah. whether to say yeah. it or not the website's out so, so what so what is this um, so basically obviously I had the business abbycoombs.com um, we all know I hated my name being on it yeah you made that um, quite clear yeah, um, I'm not going to get away from that now, but it is what it is. So I have rebranded under Farming in the Flesh, which I've brought out, obviously, new products, new air fresheners, clothing, um, pretty much everything else is standard. Obviously, there's some new pictures, posters, canvases, mugs, everything new else. So this is a out. full relaunch. Yeah, full relaunch. So. I made your shit yourself thinking <laughs> you get no air the, freshness. The amount of messages we got, honestly. Why, why can't I get the air freshness? Why can't I get the air freshness anymore? I honestly thought you were going to have to like provide counselling to some people. I, I think I was, nearly. Yeah. It was serious. Oh my God. I, you, get average, you get fucking a brand deal with better help. Like. <laughs> I put up a TikTok that didn't actually fully explain everything. It just said, <gasps> I am... The amount of shit. I am closing down the website, which I'd like to clarify. I did close down yeah, the website. It's not, it's I didn't click, it's not say... Click, it's not clickbait. Yeah, it's not clickbait. Um, I wasn't going to open another one. Um, so... Because <laughs> I'm a hustler, baby. I put that clip on of my YouTube video. 
I saw that thumbnail. Oof, that was. Brilliant. And um, I said, so good. at seven o'clock, there'll be a um, YouTube video. And people were buying it before they even watched the video on YouTube. And I was a bit like, hold on. I could have said, only joking. But, um, <laughs> JK, I, LOL. Buy my merch. Yeah. And I would have got loads of sales, but I did close it down officially. Reg, take um, note. Yeah. <laughs> um, took two weeks off just to sort house stuff get new stock in change suppliers um, so yeah hold on this was meant to be Olivia's week why has it gone back to me not my week <laughs> well we were on about Olivia's week we were week, talking but... about business things in the hospital and oh, you were yeah. like yeah fuck it tell them yeah um, so yeah I've just done a complete relaunch I have done a collaboration with another girl and there are lots more collaborations on the way. Yeah, a lot of exciting stuff. I can't stuff. name drop yet. New calendar stuff coming out. We've got like big plans for travel and that this year. Huge plans. We've got um, North Somerset show. Oh, just there. Yeah. yeah I'm working. No, wait. No, that's mid Somerset. <laughs> mid, yeah. <laughs> Where's there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I am working with um, Hanswood Machinery. I'm going to be on their stand selling at North Somerset show oh, and we're gonna try potentially Honiton show yeah hopefully get back haven't to haven't booked all of that yet but um yeah so we're gonna do a bit more events mm -hmm. um and what have you Olivia can't can people, join can people come up get selfies and all of the of course fucking... only if you buy something though <laughs> <laughs> I do because there are a lot of people I'm gonna like... get a selfie and rob something <laughs> <laughs> Don't, no, don't, don't rob stuff. I will be on you. <laughs> she got a taser out. Mine can Hawkeye. <laughs> I've done it before. <laughs> rub your tackles. Why do I keep losing myself? Because you keep saying things that we shouldn't be saying. I didn't start it. <laughs> yeah, no. Last time Honiton show, we had loads of people like asking for selfies, and I had to be on sales. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a bit like, if you buy something, I'll do a selfie. But I'm a bit busy otherwise. So. You come and buy something, we'll have a selfie. There's some good sales deals. I can't say what they are yet because I don't know. But... <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure we got to bring loads of change. Yeah. Loads yeah. of change. I thought everyone would pay by card, but yeah. well, the sig signal was a bit... Farmers, uh, farmers, 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 farmers it's all cash. Yeah. Yeah. They don't want that on their bank statement. <laughs> <laughs> What's this fucking air freshener you got here then, Shane? Farming in the flesh, then. <laughs> I know that is not what it comes up as on the statement, is it? I don't know um, why I hope it, so. it probably it will. will now. Yes! So. That's fucking brilliant. <laughs> right, explain that one to your accountant. <laughs> <laughs> Just look well, at this one. Necessities. Personal card, business card. Ah, fuck it. I'll put it down next to Auto Smart. <laughs> <laughs> should, I, should I change that on the back statement? To go? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something horrible then. I won't say it. Go on. Auto Tart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean it. I just have a brain for it. All right. Auto farm. Yeah, auto farm. Something mm, like that. Yeah. yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, going back to it. Other than your nan dying and you spraining your ankle, shit week or good week? Ah, it's been a good week, really. Yeah, yeah. we're nearly finished, Calvin. Only got seven more to go out of three hundred and fifty-nine. You always get those hangers on, don't you? It's like, come on. Well, they're doing pretty well. In fairness, it's just kind of been dropping down a lot, one or two a day now. You're like Clint Eastwood with a taggers by now, aren't you? We're not taggers. But she's been like, pulling no, sick. Oh, no, 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 I'm not. I'm not what? tagging. Shit. We have a guy that does the tagging. She hasn't been there half the time. I know I've been bloody off. <laughs> Sky <Jesus Christ>. <laughs> oh, no, We tagged the cabs, obviously. Like, straight after we're like, out the bloody <laughs> oven. But I'm not the one fucking tagging them. It's just the way you said it. We're not tagging them. <laughs> 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 just fucking that. We've been running on the bed for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> as far as BCMS is concerned, I've got three sheep. <laughs> <laughs> we are following our legal requirements um, <laughs> allegedly we have you trying to get her in the shit <laughs> don't put me in it no we have a guy that comes in he does a lot of breeding specialists and he tags all the calves because he had, knows yeah, which yeah. ones are which all right Jesus. we've had our red tractor inspections fuck him. what are they gonna do sack us yes <laughs> oh man oh that was good i'm fuck sweating now <laughs> there you are. Fucking am. Yeah. Oh. Don't listen to this. This retractor. is how I get fired. Um, <laughs> yeah. Right. No, we do tag our our stock. It's absolutely fine. Good, good. Has it been? What's what's Carmen been like? Has it been easy-ish or um, again? She hasn't been there for half the time. All right, yeah. steady on. I haven't. <laughs> I was doing my oh, dead gran there. and my uh, <laughs> sprained ankle that had me off. Actually, I had to phone up the doctors for her sick note. Oh no, but I didn't want to phone them. It's scary. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what are you, 12? <laughs> Shut up, don't say no, because you might get me in this shit because you're going to like fraud yourself here. No, I didn't. I had all your details. Yes, I just yes. said I was her. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. She gave me the details. I was I was sat right next to you. I just didn't want to have to do it. Ah, fucking. She was like, what, what do I ask? And I was like, do you just want me to do it? Yes, like, yeah. yeah. I just do it for me. <laughs> yes, fine. So yeah, mainly easy carving. Yeah, yeah, mostly. We've, um, we've been all right. Yeah, there's been quite a few twins, actually. Really? Yeah, we've had like... Seven or eight sets of twins. That's good going. Isn't it, it is good going. Yeah, they're they all all right. Yeah, they're all. I think there was only like one. Like whereas I think last year there was a few more kind of issues with them. But there was only like one. I think that we had an issue with. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. What's she giggling about now? It's a picture. Scott. It's a picture of Scott with a dog with the word <laughs> twat. twat. <laughs> <laughs> He's so special. <laughs> So with the cows, do they usually have one child? Yeah, yeah usually one, mm. yeah. The twins is often, it can be an issue, especially mm. if you've got like, if it's like a first lactation heifer yeah. and you've put it in some absolute unit of like a Belgian blue and you're like, oh no, <laughs> no God. No, no. Some fucking framey old Dutch, framey Dutch thing that's like first lactation. You no, get no. some absolute beast of a Belgian blue. No, a lot of it was a lot of our older carvers had twins. In fact, um, oh, two twin, it was uh, twins that we've like um, 54 or 6 and 54 or 7 um, who are twin sisters also had twins each. It was very cute. Very cute. That's cool. <laughs> Oh, well, sounds fucking brilliant. I, 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 I used to, I didn't really do carving, as in like, we didn't have like a carving season. We were all, all your carving, obviously. Mm, yeah. And um, yeah, I used to, because like, obviously I deal with like a lot of calves, but actually like seeing birth and that, I'm not trying to get too soppy over it, oh, but it's oh, like, it's nice, isn't it? It is you know? really nice. It is, it it is, yeah. It's a miracle, it is isn't it, really? I'm, I'm just like, yeah, and they get up and they're like little <clears> bastards <throat> and try and chase them around and tag them. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I, fucking, I did. No, I did. She don't like, tag them, mate. When I, watched, um, when I watched Clarkson's Farm and oh. I watched them doing like, when it gave birth to the uh, oh, When they calf. got the ratchet out, mine, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> the, the old right. the calving jack, yeah, just remember to pull with the calf, but with the cow, not against it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no, I was like, oh, fucking, I do miss that on the dairy farm. It was, it's, yeah, it is nice because I only see the sort of offspring all the time. But yeah, man, it's good. Yeah, look at this. It's a panda cow with a panda baby. I got very excited about that. Oh, oh I a few sorry. of those. They're so yeah. cute. I think that must that must come from like a bull way back when because I've had a few of those oh, come back. Um, the old panda calf. Yeah, panda yeah. calf with a panda calf. I get a load of like uh, white park looking motherfuckers at the really? moment. Yeah, Belgian blues. Oh, I love that. Though. Belgian blues, but a white park. So they've got like yeah, black the ears parks, yeah. and black, black nose and, few, and white oh, on the. Oh, white park. Like, well, uh, white park and belted Galloway, two of my favourite breeds. Yeah. Full stop. They're yeah. very soft looking. Wagyu's not. I fucking hate the little cunts. <laughs> they are. Tastes good though. They are the most kamikaze motherfuckers out there. Honestly. Wow, you know where they're from? Yeah. Uh, well, they just oh, let them out the pen. So they just like tails up in the air. Just. <laughs> Fucking yeah. Anyway, Marlanas, how's your week been? You sick cunt? Shit. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally, I have been ill as a motherfucker. I took a couple of days off work. Oh, so he's a sky guy. Too. Thank you very much. I oh, was dying. Does anyone work at this point? <laughs> <laughs> you don't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I had Jesus. two weeks in America, fuck yourselves. <laughs> so yeah. none of us have worked. All part time. It's been real fun this week. I've been ill as shit. I've been getting the escort ready for summer. So I've ordered some new bits for that because very nice. I hope Since... you car. Yeah, no, I was thinking that. But yeah. then I hooked yeah. on. Just dragged right the act. Like, <laughs> <laughs> took, took, took the garage, mate. Took the chains off her. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, yeah, time got, for uh, summer. We've got some new um, high heels and nipple tassels coming. <laughs> Get your perspex, perspex heels out, get the acrylics on. Let's all, go, boom. Uh, full max power spec. That so she makes some fucking noise, but <laughs> well, she's done in a minute. She's fucked. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah. So I've got. Um, since I last put her away, it's, it's, it is a car. It is a car. I promise. <laughs> Steady. Uh, she's ninety ninety, so she's getting on a little bit. <laughs> so, excuse me, I'm ninety ninety four. So I'm ninety two. Don't worry. <laughs> Um, 2000 baby <laughs> uh, fuck off. no you're not are you? I know the, 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 the yeah. old salesman was like oh we had a real bad time with um, unreliable Land Rovers back in the 90s but you wouldn't have known about that so I was like <laughs> no but she will <laughs> Oh fuck hell. Yeah, I, I owned enough of them, so he can get fuck himself. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> so how is escort life? Um so <laughs> since I put her away in <laughs> storage, <laughs> um, the driver's side window don't work, the heater blower doesn't work, the battery's wanked, and the alternator seized. Oh, it's beautiful. almost like it's almost like you own Land Rovers. 
It's kind of the same thing. It is. You, just par- you park it. The up, escort looks no- a little bit bad. You do nothing to it, and it breaks when you yeah. get it out. It's like, oh great, all this stuff doesn't work. It's wonderful. So we've got some shiny new bits coming for her. Oh god. Uh, I built some flat pack, and it hasn't fallen down yet, which is fantastic. But the last thing, Reg, um, I just want to bring back um, fuck Reg. <laughs> More fun? Thank you for the two roof tiles you gave me. Yeah, they're not fucking right. <laughs> Um, Are they the wrong way? Yeah, yeah. They're, no, they're just wrong. Oh, they're, just, they're I, completely different. Oh, I thought they looked right when I give them you. Yeah, well, they got a bump in them. Um, yeah, it looks like my roof is going to fall off. Oh shit! They're like, is it all like raised? It's all. It's not good. Is, was he like, I'll just put them up anyway, mate? No. What? Oh no. He literally. So he got up there and he was like, "Yeah, they're the wrong tiles." I was like, ah, "Fuck!" He's like, "Can you get them?" Uh, oh, right, right now while you're up the ladder <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna need to wait a minute Jack. Um, CRS is 10 mile down the road <laughs> he literally picked two off the roof and they're not stuck down anymore oh okay so I think I need a new roof oh, oh but, shit, yeah right. what as in like all new it needs new battens no like none of the tiles are stuck down oh shit that's fine just get some glue you'll be alright well, glue shout out to Gar Ooh. Um, he sent up there and um, he's going to try and get me a couple of tiles and if he can't get the tiles we're going to have to have a new fucking roof uh, or I'm going to go that... around the local estate and steal somebody's tiles <laughs> that's the cheaper option go down but... a social fuck it tax man's paying it. <laughs> <laughs> our tax dollars are paying fuck them just go rob them <laughs> allegedly oh, the next door neighbour's a roof have a, have a serious chat with him he did his whole roof like redid his roof in two days like an animal. They're literally, they were just up there on the piss. <laughs> I mean, no, they weren't. No, they weren't. No, actually, no, it was out, it was out of hours. They weren't working yeah, for they it. They yeah, want. they were on the fucking piss up the scaffolding and they re- literally redid this. I, I came, I left for work and they were all up the scaffolding like pointing at shit and I was like, oh, proper fucking Saturday job that is. <laughs> Everyone's got a beer in hand pointing at things. I'm like, yeah, all right. Came back, there's no roof. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? The whole roof had gone. And then Sunday, the whole roof was back, back on. In. Unreal. Yeah, so have a chat with him. Yeah, well, I'll wait to see if um, my man can get the tiles. If you can't get the tiles, we're fucked, and that's going to be a really expensive um, affair. Nice. Nice. Sounds good. Fun, fun times. Uh, how's your week been, mate? Mm. Oh, it's been good, man. Yeah, no, not, not, not too much on if I'm honest. It's been pretty fucking chill, just getting back in the swing of things with work and whatnot. Um, the only sort of, mm, I think, notable thing about my week... Uh, Defender broken up. No, Defender's yeah. fine, mate. She's a, she's a fucking honey. Uh, waited long enough for it. Fucking... Uh, but yeah, anyway, we won't bang on that drum anymore. <laughs> Alexa say I will never get old. Yeah, so um, I was, uh, it was, it was, what was it? It was Monday. It was Monday. It was a misty morning on Monday. Monday. I finished early from work. Like, it seems to be the trend here. No one does any fucking work. Part time. Um, Part time drivers. <clears throat> so I finished work. I came back and I was sort of like, you know when you finish work at like two and you're like sort of kicking around like, what am I gonna do? Like, mm-hmm. I don't usually finish it this time. Like, uh, nah. I was all knocking around the kitchen, so I make myself a bit, a bit of food, a bit of coffee, and anyway, I see, I see these people walking up and down the oh, street. Oh, you're a curtain twitcher. No, no, no. no fucking, uh, got, I, I've blown. Are they Jehovah's got, or fucking True Speed? Well, I seen these people walking up down the street, and I was like, oh, fucking cherry cunts. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, there's no one else in. <laughs> He's clearly seen me walking down oh, the street mm. and he's going to be walking back up. Now, my car is obviously here. I'm The, the blind is up. I'm like, oh, fuck. You know it's your house. You don't yeah. have to open the door. Uh, yeah, no, of course. Yeah, but right. I was like, well, I, I thought I, what I'd do was... Hide below the windowsill. Why not? I just outsmart them. <laughs> Drive them off. Own, I'll play them at their own fucking game. They want me to open the door. I'll make it so they don't want to open the door. So what I did, right? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Was so I lifted the blind. The blind was like halfway up. So I could just like kind of crouch down and see him. I lifted the blind all the way up. <laughs> Shotgun. <laughs> I took all my clothes off. I was going to say, I knew it would be something like that. <laughs> to my boxers, not naked. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah, I didn't want to get done for indecent. And I was like, I was going to say, don't give like, you know, that away for free. I was thinking, <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I would have to pay people to look at this. <laughs> so I'm like, what do you know? I, all of a sudden, I've realised I haven't cleaned any of my guns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't no. cleaned any of them. I've been shooting on Sunday. It's Monday afternoon. I've taken a Betanzolio. I've taken a Beretta. I, I, I haven't run a boar snake through these fucking things for like a whole day. So I thought, now is the touch. You know what? Fuck it. While we're here, we'll get the rifle out as well and the pump action. <laughs> and I'll just lay them all out over the sink, which is directly no. in front of the window. 
And I'll just start fucking cleaning the guns. <laughs> in your pants? Yeah, in my pants. Yeah, man. Like, I don't want to get that horrible gun oil all over my nice <laughs> jeans, do I? Like, I hope, any, you, I hope any, you weren't like, covered in blood. Like, 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 any, it's been like butchering <laughs> something in the back garden. Like any reasonable man would. Um, so yeah, I, I thought, well, now's the time. So yeah, and that was it. I just started breaking me guns down to bits. And uh, <laughs> the bloke walked past my house, looked in the window, and I just waved with the most like... <laughs> insane eyes I'm surprised the police didn't turn <laughs> up baring my teeth at him and smiling and waving as he walked past oddly enough didn't get a ring at the door um <laughs> so funny that I, thought, I got- love how you've gone to all this effort when you could have just not answered the door yeah, yeah. exactly you know like a sane person could have drove just, off well, could have it was a it was a, fucking, it was a power know. move I didn't want to be the bitch that didn't answer the door I wanted him to be the bitch that didn't what ring the doorbell what you need is a Yuffie doorbell because then you could just without even getting up tell him to fuck off uh, there's no one home uh, so yeah no I uh, so that was that and I, I carried on and he walked up the street anyway and I saw saw another bloke coming up coming up the opposite pavement across the other side of the street and I saw him go to walk across the road and matey the one that had just avoided my doorbell <laughs> shook his head <laughs> Sort of like beckoned him with a bit of a click, pointed at my house, and did the run his fucking hand across his <laughs> neck. Like, don't kill him. It's no bueno. By this point, I was like, I, I wasn't, I was, uh, I was like sort of out of sight, so I could, they couldn't really see me. All the guns were still laid out on the counter. <laughs> Yeah, so it worked really well. Did um, you actually clean that pump then? Because last time I shot that, it was full of shit. Yeah, no, that's been, that's, that was cleaned, yeah, the time after you used it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, so, so all the guns are absolutely spotless, and uh, I've not had to give a fucking penny to charity. Because <laughs> if anything, I think we've done enough for charity in the last couple of weeks, Marlon. So yeah, I, I think, think we've done fucking, enough. I don't want to be <laughs> giving money to the fucking, I don't know, Down Syndrome guide dogs, whatever the fuck I've got to give money to. I don't know. I've, I've fucking done enough, all right? I've done a fucking enough. I don't give 100 quid to the local hockey club so yeah you know you're feeling that's charity. not a charity we have a hockey club it? what that's a, a club not a charity what they were asking for money and so i give it them i didn't realize we had a hockey club yeah um, can i have some money then i was gonna say while you're feeling charitable i'll have another pint yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah so shout out to the uh, the shepton women's seconds team or whatever i gave money to i don't know you guys are legends <laughs> right uh so we're gonna get in some questions we put a uh a post up on Instagram earlier, a little question box said literally is an ask me anything for Olivia and Abby. Some oh. of them posed to both of you, some of them posed to one of you. So uh, Some of them are complete dog shit. Some of them are awful and the ones that you don't hear, well, you'll never hear because they've cut them out because they're so bad. Uh, so, oh, no, <laughs> I might call one out. or two people out either. Right, so uh, yeah, I'm going to shout you all out because I didn't tell you this is going to be anonymous. So yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, oh, fuck poor buggers. Yeah, bollocks to him. Right, first one comes in from uh, Tristan Hater underscore N one one three. Do you want to shoot on my tractor? <laughs> okay, I guess I guess that's posted both um, of you. Um, actually, um, there is now a form that you can fill in the Red website. Sh- the Landini. The Landini. Oh, not the fucking Landini. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> actually, going to be a form on the website. Obviously, the website's not will be live but it's can not you, like, right put now. A t- can you put attachments with it so like actual yeah i'm gonna pictures. hopefully have right, that we're doing a shoot get the camera i'm gonna get butt naked yeah can i add in if you send me a dick pic it is actually illegal yeah so and do she not... will put it on her stories with your name next to it yeah actually i will i'll do that <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna have a picture with a range stick up my ass <laughs> <laughs> so you're not going to get arrested for racism <laughs> <laughs> in these um, so, yeah. yeah. Watch this, if I wink my ass so I can hit the splitter. <laughs> <laughs> when that form is up, we are <laughs> doing a joke. I nearly spit out my fucking thatchers. You see what I do with a land drive shaft. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough, enough. Oh, right, dear. so, um, right, I... That's that <laughs> I got a, so I, I've only got a thumbnail because he's a private profile. It's a what looks to be a new Holland with an A frame on the back with black tires. There you go. Well, aren't all tires black? So uh, uh, tires, <laughs> wheels. Sorry. Ah. Yeah. So there you go, Tristan. If you want to, if you want to, if you want to. Not get being sh- funny. I'm pretty sure there's a Vulture, isn't it? Oh, oh, hang on. I, I thought was it. it. I thought. Oh god, here we go. Screenshot. I'm gonna get a DM straight away the moment this comes out. Be like, shank. It's a fucking Vulture. I don't know how to screenshot with a Samsung. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a it, 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 yeah, it, it, that's it, it, it is. It's a vomit. It's all vomit. 
pretty sure. Quote me if I'm wrong. Oh, it's got own own. Uh, what fucking tricked me is either it's the name Vulture on the oh, side. It looked, yeah. like a, it looked like a headlight. Let it does me. look like a new one, though. You. Let me see. Let me see. I'd say. Yeah, no, it's a do you it wanna, is a, a Volmet. Do you want to just carry thank on? Thank God, thank God, because if I got that wrong, I would have been shot. It was a Volmet. <laughs> uh, so I think this is going out to both of you. Uh, what do you think about mechanics? Are they better than farmers? <laughs> that is from uh, Graham Riddick. Um, Random? I don't think I've ever been with a mechanic. I wouldn't bother. We're miserable cunts. No, no. I can, I can vouch for that, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I can't. Quite. Like, I can't quite. Well, you know that most, like, a lot of farmers would be half mechanics anyway. They, you, yeah, what did they do? Right. You know? Yeah. Thank most, you very most, much. most farmers are mechanics. Mo mechanics. Uh, mechanics. Mechanics. Not, uh, no fucking mechanics are farmers, are they? No. <laughs> no. I thought it was a moo mechanic. No. Oh, mo- God, that's <laughs> fucking. <laughs> The worst pun. I know. I'm, 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 I'm not the only one. Oh, I'm not yeah. very proud of that. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus, Mary, mother of God, make it stop. <laughs> uh, next one I got is from that Somerset boy, Olivia. What has been your favourite video shoot? Mm, what with Abby or just in general? Uh, just, I think yeah, in there general. is no specification. So shout out to our man Mark from Just <laughs> for this one. If it's not me, I'll shoot. <laughs> well, no, technically, technically ours are just photo shoots, photo shoots. Um, just hearing that old fortune we video. Roar. We do video, but it's go not on, technically go on. for video. How about you do one without me and one with me? Uh, shout out to the boys at Waldersy uh, with the John Deere X9 combines. They're always so good and they love to put both combines in the same field for me and we can get awesome shots. So I love that. I love people who actually go out of their way That's, to make that, a video. That is out of their way That as is well. seriously out of their way. Like, yeah. it, was, fuck, it was just awesome. So 100%. Um, then they're always very accommodating um, when it comes to videos and then obviously Abby come on and then yeah um, our fa- I, I would probably say the my Chrome personal favourite actually was um, <laughs> was, the, was the snow foam video I thought that was one but of I your... didn't fucking take that one that was Scott and Ben was it Scott, Scott, and, Scott and Ben Fuck you fucking you, legends Ren. incredible camera skills shut up you not <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna go. <laughs> yeah, that was actually Scott and Ben. They were like out with the ladder, like <laughs> filming. Like Ben just was dicking proper, about. On, proper on it, like. Yeah, well, yeah, because Ben doesn't normally get involved in the photo shoots. He was probably making no, the most of it. He just stands and sort of watches. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it, look, I was saying to Polly, who joined in on an air freshener, um, I was like, oh, don't worry about those two. They're literally used to it. They're like, right, okay, leave you to it. Same as Scott's dad. Um, <laughs> we turned up for the photo shoot on Scott's farm. And he's like, oh, what are you two doing? And I was like, oh, doing a photo shoot. He's like, okay, all right. Like, Cheers, eh? Yeah. Do you want to do one with the dogs? Because we had some, they had, oh, had the some puppies, puppies. Isn't it? Yeah. And I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So everyone's just bloody used to it now. Yeah, so. pretty much. But no, my favourite, thank you very much, would have been <laughs> <laughs> the Chrome Baylor. So you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yes. Oh, no, I remember that one. <laughs> yeah, no, I did like that one. All right, Marlon, what's the next one? Uh, how can I get better myself at drone flying, just a hobby drone? That's from oh. Skippy6170. Uh, practice, practice, practice. I have crashed many a drone. Um, so literally, the more time you spend flying it, the better you'll get, more or less. Um, YouTube videos, any tri- like tips and tricks that you yeah. want to learn, YouTube, I, that's where I get Watch your fingers as well. Watch your fingers. Say, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 I've cut yeah. myself once or twice on mine. Yeah. Get some stamp-proof gloves, I would, if yeah. you're a beginner. Especially flying well, no, a fucking DJI. Just don't put your fucking fingers <laughs> in yeah, the props. That's like. probably the best idea, not to get your fingers in the way. He said, what's that, that old school rule, Marlon, when it comes to fingers? Don't, uh, run, don't put your <laughs> finger away, you wouldn't put your dick. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I don't have a dick, so I wouldn't know that one, so... Well, it just, don't it, put your fingers anywhere just don't you put, wouldn't put anything. Yeah, um, just, just to use your fucking brain. Yeah. Like, <laughs> basically, is what that is, is use your fucking brain. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um... This is, next one comes in from underscore Dan Price. Do you want to do a shoot with some forest machinery? We are mid Devon based. I'm guessing that'd be more vultures with the big fucking over. I don't know what they yeah, call I hope it. it's not just I'm a chainsaw. Gonna, I'm going to get shouted at <laughs> by <laughs> forestry boys, but the mo- most vultures have got that sort of overloader over the cab type thing and a big fucking um, the big grabber, a big a big grabber. So I don't think we're venturing that far quite yet. But again, apply, oh, what, and then what, we've got his details and yeah, pictures. Right? As and... your uh, photography advisor. <laughs> Uh, we've got one of those. Oh, I wouldn't well. take any yeah, advice out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah just what, go to Olivia with the questions. Yeah, no. what, what I'm thinking is, is you on a log 
getting like up and over the cab of the tractor. I th- I'm just saying, I mean, HSE might have a fucking field day. But... Straddling the lock. <laughs> oh, <laughs> see, it. it's what I mean. Yeah, mm-hmm. see, look. Uh, yeah, yeah, with your big braces. Yeah, so big here we go. Oh, 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 yeah. 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 And your helmet on. Yeah, yeah. helmet on. Yeah, yeah. still if, braces if our on. Fucking yeah. logo Little in, mud flap on the back of the helmet. Those pants. High vis underwear. High vis underwear. Oh. Yeah. If our logo in watermarked at the bottom of that fucking <laughs> picture, I swear Should I have to God. it tattooed no, on my no, hat? You've got the hive is orange on top of his hat as well. We'll there go for go. that. Yeah, yeah. we've got some real tree camo hats coming at some point in the next four years. <laughs> Don't hold your fucking breath. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. They are coming, but when? Well, yeah, there you go. Go. Yeah, see, it, it, see, oh, you all laugh. Y'all laughed at me. Y'all laughed at me. <laughs> and now you're like, yeah, we could do this we and this and this. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, Dan Price. So yeah, fucking... I wouldn't say there's like um, a criteria as to what we're willing to do and not do. I think it just depends on Interesting at the things. time. Mm. Yeah. It's just literally what if sells. we see it and we think that would work. So just be careful with the fucking with the forestry boys. When we took a picture with the yeah, chain... you don't want to get splinters. When well, we took... that's what oh, I was thinking. Well, when yeah. we when we I took a picture know. with a chainsaw to sell some of our that's merch class, yeah. Kimblan. Oh, you want to shuffle that fucking chainsaw? It was for a photo, photo shoot. Oh, you try that, like, with the tread on tyres. Like, oh, they're like, don't. Or if they're the, the tyres tires on the wrong left? way. Like, <laughs> fuck off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can we put those tyres on? Fucking hell. Yeah. Like, well, um, the massy one, if you look. You should actually snow from, snow yeah. from, from the bottom up. you're wearing the tread the different way. Yeah. Did you know? Yes. I sat on Not it. Not my fucking <laughs> tractor. Don't care. Don't drive it. Tell yeah. It, I'm not being funny. I'm not going to get him to change it round <laughs> for one fucking yeah. photo, like fifteen minutes. He's been nice <laughs> enough to let me use it. I ain't going to go and criticise your tyres. Oh, very nice tractor. I like the fact that out of that photo, some autismo has looked at it and gone, "Wow, oh, the tyres are red." <laughs> oh, majority of my videos, if you look, there'll be something about the tyres. Little screechy really? people. Yeah. People just love to pick apart shit, don't that they? That 8RX one, people love going at. Oh, don't. What was wrong with that then? Uh, yeah. The track. Yeah, the track's on it. And what, it was too loose or not tight enough or they were the wrong way round or... Um, I can't remember what most... What is an 8RX? Is that a John Deere, I'm yeah. assuming? Tra- it, a track yeah, a like track. John Deere, yeah, like a Challenger. Mm. Even I know that. I Come on, man. Come I'm on. Never, it's the most never interesting never tractor I've ever seen. claims to be a fucking... Uh, a, 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 not with your wanky old Landini. Don't talk about my Italian stallion in such <laughs> terms. Surprised I haven't given up yet. Fuck off, Marlon, you can't. Uh, right, next one is from Catman. Uh, what is your favourite type of gun to shoot with? Oh, yeah, you've been writing your clay shooting. This is something oh, I want to talk about. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll be honest, we've been constantly trying new ones. I don't really know what we've been using and not using. Um, so me and my ex-boss still go. Um, we're now going once a month rather than once every two weeks. Um like I said, I don't really know what we're using. Where are you doing your shooting? Uh, Mendip shooting ground. Big up, big up to the <laughs> MSG! Um, but we are going shooting next Saturday, actually. Oh, oh uh... Um, with Country Girls UK, mm-hmm. we're going to Ashcombe. Yeah. Is that on a sim day, or...? Um, it's like... The uh, clay shooter day, isn't it? Um, oh, nice. It's like a full-on... Yeah, full-on day. It's a full-on like... full day. Yeah, full-on yeah. day. Um, Very exciting. I'll get it up. Oh. Abby's going to completely show me up, because I haven't shot in fucking years. <laughs> I've been like what is it like four times I yeah Reg has been about 20 recently you still can't hit anything yeah. <laughs> seen the thickness of my glasses <laughs> fucking hell you think I could magnify the cunts four times over but I still can't <laughs> hit them so I can't really comment because I don't really know what so I've... are we doing under and over or side by side under and over I think isn't it? you've been using club guns haven't you <laughs> as in like the guns from the club yeah, they supply yeah, you yeah, with yeah, the yeah, firearm yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I assume that would be like either <laughs> yeah probably a uh, that 525 525 or a GTI well, I don't know if they're still using the GTIs up there but do you want me to ask next time <laughs> yeah yeah ask yeah, yeah, yeah uh, probably uh, best that I do know people want to know the people okay. need to know I'm going to oh. fit you for my bet and zolly before you leave and we'll see if we can have a cash deal because I need to get rid of the fucking thing okay alright it's um, lovely gun so you that's why he's trying to get rid of it <laughs> I don't shoot well with it alright I've fucking tried I've had the cunt five years I just don't shoot well with it I haven't seen you shoot well <laughs> with no, it that's really. like a there, nerve that hat sound suits you quite well. Well, that pump action. Yeah. <laughs> He's a honey. <laughs> Little 20 ball. I, I just realised the other day as well, obviously I asked for a 12 ball instead of a 24 and then I was like, I've got a really weak ankle since spraining it, so I'm really hoping it doesn't fuck me over. <laughs> just if you bring a camping Ooh. chair and just sit down behind a truck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question comes from Chris Bradford, uh, FH16650. Oi, Olivia, could you do a promotional video, you cunt? <laughs> <laughs> so apparently he messaged you a little while ago 
He's uh, getting a new lorry and wants you to pop over to fucking Ireland. Well, we're going over to Ireland, so I've probably been really shit with my message. Fuck. <laughs> 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 and then there's another one from Cowling06. When's Abby doing a photo shoot with Chris Bradford's truck? <laughs> So, Follow up. Uh, <laughs> well, where about his, is he? He's Northern Ireland, isn't he? Ah. Yeah. So um, we haven't made Bandit Country. Bandit Country. Um, we've made plans, obviously, to go over to Ireland. We've booked our dates in. If I double check them here. Um, I think it's from like the fifteenth of May for a week. I there will. There you go. Fifteenth of May. Fifteenth of May. I don't May. think his lorry's going to be here. No. Oh, fuck's sake, man. Well, yeah. he'll, he'll, he'll pay for your travel. Well, well, I could be over another fucking weekend. And where, where is he going to find you, Olivia? Um. <laughs> If I, I reply, know, if I reply I my message. I bother her last time. You didn't actually, yeah, he's back. already obviously found you. I know. Um, so I will check through my message requests and I will reply to you, Chris, <laughs> because I'm fucking shit recently. Um, so yeah, no, we're planning to go over in May and we will hopefully be covering both sides of the country. I just don't know when that week because obviously it's weather dependent. Um, and the weather is not very good over there. So unless we get a summer like last year, it'll be really hit and miss. Um, well, well, will we have another potato famine if the summer's as good as last year? Just Fuck. stop bringing that joke <laughs> Don't up. Don't bring up the blight, man. It's, very, it's a very touchy subject. <laughs> what's, more, what's more touchy subject? The potato famine or the, uh, you know, the, the whole religion thing? I thought you were going to say something about the churches and the babies, to be honest. No, 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 no. <laughs> fucking, no I, don't, I don't want to get fucking shot in the back of the head. Like, that's what, the whole reason I didn't go over there with fucking Marlocks. I was going to get shot for the amount of shit I've said over there. Are you fucking, <laughs> are you fucking Reg? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just dead in an alley. Oh. <laughs> Fuck it out, right. Uh, so, so yeah, if the truck is ready by the 15th of May, I'm sure we can sort something out. Well, if you check your um, DMs, mm. I expect um, you might be able to ask him. As yeah. long as he doesn't call me a cunt again. <laughs> <laughs> right, Abby, next question. Big one, big one before the break. Uh, next question comes in from Stephen525. Um, how much money do you make a month? On a month or yeah. what? Yeah. Months vary. So, All right, well, uh, well, should we go... Actually, well, do you want to know either OnlyFans or all together? So I can either show you my OnlyFans or my QuickBooks. What do you reckon? I reckon all together, mate. Can we see them though? She said, she said one or the other, you daft cunt. So you want QuickBooks? QuickBooks. So this is like everything. Everything. I earn. Everything. So I'm going to say, why do you need a verification code? Um, <laughs> so I'm going to show you this tax year. Yeah. Um. Obviously, it's not finished yet, but once it loads. Can I go first? All right. Holy <laughs> fucking... Fitballs. Did, did you see the estimated tax? I don't want to know the estimated tax it, on it that. It says on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go next? Uh, that yeah. is... Um, oh. oh! I am the captain. My name is Dave. And we're back. But before we get into beer of the week, massive shout out to sponsor this episode, Holy Fucking Fox. As you just heard before the break, we got to see some shocking, shocking. Hideous numbers. Hideous. Numbers are like. They were lovely numbers, just there were some well, hideous yeah, ones yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Hideously large is what I meant. Uh, <laughs> Definitely so, not like your penis. <laughs> wow. Uh, that was out of the fucking blue, but rather rude, Marlon. <laughs> Uh, and you just carry on looking for your beer of the fucking week bullshit or whatever you're doing and yeah, I'll, uh, nothing, I'll, I'll do the ad there, mate. how about nothing that there. you yeah, carry on yeah, sorry yeah, yeah. sorry sorry mate sorry Sorry. So yeah, if you're looking for a decent accountant uh, and you don't know what you're doing when it comes to that, or even if you're looking to change accountants and move to uh, move to a better one, which is uh, I will stand here and say it, Orly Fox is better than whoever you use. So fuck you. Uh, so yeah, I spoke to Kieran this week, and he said um, he said he couldn't believe the amount of people that got in touch with him having listened to the podcast and uh, they were like, oh, uh, so let, send me for an invoice for this uh, for this phone call, obviously. And he was like, well, don't be so fucking daft because why would I? And a lot of them were shocked that just ringing up Kieran just to have a chat with him wasn't invoiced. 
because every other accountant seems to invoice for every email, every fucking phone call, every every single piece of paper that they send your way or everything. They've got a bill with everything. We're all Fox. It's pretty like and laid back, you know. If you just want to fucking, if you just want to ring up Kieran and ask him a ask him a quick query about uh, something or other that you're going to do, or do I need to pay the VAT on this, or will I need to do that, or can this be uh, you know related to the business so I can claim it? Just you know, he's he's laid back, man. He's not going to charge you. For, he's on, he ain't going to nickel and dime you, man. Like he's the boy. He's Should out there to be the best he can, can be. Put- air fresheners through for farmers should we bring them up live can we yeah we probably can i'll give him a bell this might be helpful for anyone who wants to put an air freshener through That's the business it. right okay i'm gonna give him a ring he better answer oh, i hope he answers <laughs> i just ring him on facebook i ain't got anything it's, it's late enough in the day <laughs> there you go karen i'm really sorry i hope you pick up then if you don't you're gonna kick yourself yeah, he's gonna it see your name oh, yeah, fuck yeah, off, right. do you want to pass a voicemail oh, oh he is he's there i care hey all right <laughs> Yeah, we're just live on the podcast at the moment, mate, and we have an accounting question we thought we'd ask you during an ad read. <laughs> yeah, go for it. <laughs> right, so we're here with Abby and Olivia. Hello. Um, uh, we had a query about the air fresheners, right? So Abby's had to go back registered. <laughs> so, which is, it's not, it's not a query about her account. It's a query as to whether if you're a farmer <laughs> and you buy Abby's air fresheners and you hang them up in your cab, can you claim them? On or on, you know, on They're the expenses, uh, on the as, account, ex- like. as expenses, because they are kind of, you know, like pro- a cleaning product. Yeah, cl- I, I put it down as a cleaning product, or they as... are kind of cleaning, aren't they? Yeah, because it's making the place smell better. That's your working environment, the cab, is it yeah. not? I'll, I guess, as long as you're not buying shitloads of them. <laughs> 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 so, if you had three tractors and you needed one a month, so you bought a pack of thirty-six for the year. That wouldn't be out of the question, would it? And I'm sure, like, the tissues to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should come out with a box. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> a box of tissues with the print on. Okay, as long as that was all you meant, like. <laughs> oh, awesome. Thanks, Kira. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've already... You could, is there anything else you want to say before you go? Hi, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Legend. Thank lovely, you, man. Mate. Sorry for calling you at ten o'clock on a Saturday. <laughs> it's Friday, <laughs> but on a Friday. See the, the accountant that can. This is the accountant that you bring him anytime, anytime. He'll pick up. Roll. Hey, that's how we roll. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'll catch you later. Catch you later, buddy. Bye, bye. What a fucking legend. I told you. I told you. What I say? 10 o'clock on a fucking Friday. Your man picks up the phone. He ain't scared. There you go. Answering See, questions about air fresheners. Proof is in the fucking pudding. So there you go. Uh, right. Hold on. Let's, uh, I don't know what the fuck. That was the weirdest ad read I've ever done in my life. Let's just ring our sponsor. <laughs> Thank you, Kieran. Love Financial millions. advice for anyone. <laughs> Literally. At right. any time. Right. Um, Let's do beer a week first. Let's do All beer right. a week first, then we'll then we'll get into the little bit after. Yeah. Right, Marlon, what we got? Uh, so we have Phoenix Light, uh, imported lager beer from Phoenix Brewery. Not gonna lie, it does look like you remember Tesco's value, doesn't oh, it? Give God, you Tesco. It, does, it yeah. gives you Tesco's it's value white, vibes, doesn't it? it? It's white with the stripes, and then just sort. It of... It looks kind of like a fag packet. Yeah, it does. It does look like it? a fag it, packet. It, it, it does. Do you yeah. know where I found it? Go on, Home Bargains. Ah, uh, that's uh, why. Yeah, it's 3.5%. Marlon, how much was this? Marlon doesn't Is it know. cheap and cheerful? It looks cheap and cheerful. I'm not going to tell you nothing Tesco for a minute. Just, just tell right, me right, to read Marlon, the marketing bullshit. Uh, read the marketing bullshit! Right, so I had... Um, yeah, I can't find any marketing bullshit for it, but I have found this review. No idea what it tastes like, but it was cheaper than a can of pop. <laughs> This was 49p. Fuck off. Oh. In home bargains. Wait, what? A can? A can. <laughs> there is no marketing bullshit on it. It's three and, and a half percent to in give a it 330. To us yeah. <laughs> right, um, should we uh should we get into it? Yeah, if yeah, Olivia, if you just want to open yours. <laughs> Big. I've just had a text from Kieran. Made there's by no, evening, Matt. There's <laughs> no hiss. <laughs> I, I, Oh. That tastes like fucking water. I that breathe. tastes like sparkling water. I sniffed the foam. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely taste like piss. <laughs> oh, Do I ask how you know, know that? You. No, as in, oh, shut up. Me and Liver and some freaky shit, all right? So let's just fucking leave it at that. <laughs> Honestly, it's like sparkling water. That is fucking nasty. Rancid is the There's a reason that's 49p. That was Fuck nasty. me. 
Uh, it is cheaper than a, than a can of pop. I think I prefer the can of pop. So you bring your finest guests on <laughs> to make them drink piss, basically. That is fucking... Well, hang on. You're the finest guest and I'm the one drinking the fucking piss. <laughs> oh, just, have you, has she had a little taste? No, take, take just a taste. Just have a little taste. No, no honestly, have a little taste. Open your can. No, why not? It's I'm not like we're going to fucking drink it. <laughs> it's only 49. Let's go down the fu- just let's drink just have a little sippy sip. Go Don't get this foam up your nose. <laughs> Do I want to? Yeah, go on. <laughs> Quick drink. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> like I am a connoisseur when it Mate, comes to light lager. Shocking that gross. is fucking shocking. <laughs> Choking away. Uh, oh. do, do you want me to start? I'm at a solid one. I'm at zero. What the fuck are you Mate, doing? That is so it gets. Well, I, I wouldn't even give that a rating. If I was in the middle of a desert, can you imagine if that was warm? Oh, oh. don't. Ugh. Warm piss. Oh, shit. That, uh, nah, mate. That nah, is fucking gross. That is um, no, when we said cheap and cheerful, we'll just go with cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Che- like, <laughs> cheap and crushingly yeah. depressing. Like, you know that video of the Scottish woman like scolding her two kids for leaving a shit in the, in the toilet? <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> this is <laughs> Cher Lloyd by Cher Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one of you was for leaving a fucking shit! <laughs> oh, yeah, right, that's... Um, yeah, no, I guess it's zero, man. Like, I don't do zeros, but that is fucking disgusting. Ugh. Right, so that's... Uh, Minus. That's... Minus. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, no, right, right. That's yeah. on the trip of voice scale. You can't do that. <laughs> Go into another dimension. That's a solid zero. Or Phoenix Light. Right, that um... is the first ever zero. And you brought it on for Why us. Why did fantastic. you even give it a one? Like I gave it a one. because Oh, it, you gave like, it a one. It's... A drink? <laughs> if I was in the middle of the desert, <clears throat> and that was the only thing to drink, I'd drink it. No choice. Nah, it's just fucking gross, mate. It's just... Oh, uh, Hence no. the fag packet on it. Li- yeah, literally. I, do, I, 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 I didn't want to judge it from looking at it. <laughs> but I was kind of thinking... This is gonna be done That's good. why there is no marketing with it, because I they just don't even even bother. Yeah, spent tastes more, like they shit, Shag. spent more money on the metallic green. That's it. It's, it's not like, even a sticker. It, it catch, the, catch the barcode in the light, it actually glistens. So they've put, more, does, money in, they've put more money into the print than they have to anything else. Anyway, Shout out was, to United Dutch Breweries, you bastard. No, nah, fuck them. That, that was fucking gross. Anyway, um, Marlon. Got, um, so, we've... Um, after a hundred and, what is this now, 10, 11 episodes? Yeah. We've had a little think. We've had a little think. No, not not you two, you daft fuckers. <laughs> I wasn't, hang on. No, we've had a little think about it. I don't Gary. like the we've, sound we've of thinking. L- we, we, we know no, it hurts. Every, nobody likes change. We get it. But we've had a little think. And like a restructure. A restructure of the show. Ooh. And we're thinking about getting rid of beer of the week. Shit. Dropping it. Have you ran out of beer of the... Have no, you run out of beer? No, no, no. We no. just, oh, upon reflection, you know, we're, we're podcasters. We, we like to know what people... We like to think we know what people like. However, um... We don't feel that beer of the week is as inclusive as it could be. And it's not really... The thing is, we sit here, we drink the beer, we give it a rating, and probably 99% of people have never drink, will never drink that beer and don't really give a fuck about what we say. And we just kind of sit here and go, oh, okay and So you make and... this the last one? Yeah, thank you for that. No, 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 well, no, 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 no. We've got well, a few to wind down well, on. Well, oh, okay. well, let me, let me... I'm going to... This is like Dragon's I'll Den. I'll spin you a yarn. This is like Dragon's Den. Oh, like, Dragon's this Den. is right, my... This isn't this isn't a fully fleshed out business idea, right? Not getting my investment. But <laughs> <laughs> fuck off, Deborah Meaden. <laughs> you could I don't be, want to be fucking Deborah Meaden. What do you want to be, Hillary Devay? She's fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm Peter they, Jones. I'm Peter they, Jones, mate. Eight dragons. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Duncan Ballantyne. He's I, gone. I don't like it, and I hate you. You cunt. <laughs> Right, anyway, so what I'm thinking, this is just something I'm thinking, I want to everyone, put it in your story, whatever, I'll put a poll up, I don't know, let me know your thoughts, reach out. I'm thinking about getting rid of beer of the week. The beers that we've got left over that you kind people have sent us, we'll probably just drink them throughout the episodes and just give you a little shout out yeah, and say thank you. He's thinking of getting beer of the week. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. No, that's fine. What? You carry on. Oh, I'm just, I'm just we all carry on drinking it, whatever. Anyway, um, <laughs> what I'm thinking is about doing like a spirit-based thing after the break. Oh, yeah. Like, get some cocktails in there. So you decided not to fucking have the spirit with us? Well, no, because we, we wanted to know what the audience thought. Oh. They're the ones that listen. I don't make the decisions here. <laughs> this is apparently a socialist utopia of which we've built. Or you bring in... The guest brings in their choice of drink. Or they make a cocktail. Yeah, but some of our guests are fucking useless cunts. So uh, okay. well, I haven't fucking bought anything, Reg, so you'll have to do it yourself. But if that's the case, if a guest forgets to bring in a drink, you have a backup behind the bar. 
True. Or they forfeit and have to walk off a plank. What I was sort of Dirty thinking, pipe. we could do like some sort of yes. like, Ooh. I had a, my vague idea, this is only a vague idea, is we do like a spirit and it either That's maybe well. be a cocktail or maybe I was thinking of some sort of sip or slam thing where we flip a coin and you either got to sip it Ooh. or you got to slam it as a shot. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter if it's a 90 year old fucking whiskey, like, and just you have to do a <laughs> shot of it like an absolute cunt. Oh, You've got your hand yeah, up. You've got your hand up as if it's school. <laughs> no, it's not. You're a great Please, woman, uh, as just, we all know. Just a suggestion for an episode. Yeah. Obviously, we always have to drive back, but maybe another episode when we are staying. We offer all the guests a hotel. You didn't this time. Yeah, you bastards. Would you have stayed? Yeah, we did actually debate we, we, it. Oh, we were for thinking fuck's about. Fuck's sake! We were <laughs> thinking time. about fucking no, no. Next time, um, say it or shot it episode. What's that? When it's you, like you, ask, oh. you have to ask, ask questions, oh, and if you don't, yeah, 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 so truth or dare. If I go of. to you, who was your worst guest? You've either got to say it or have a shot. Oh, I would say that in a heartbeat because everyone. <laughs> Come on, knows. then. Hillbilly Nation, oh. without a fucking doubt, everyone knows it. We've said it a hundred times. They were fucking. They were animals, and they know they were animals. Massive shout out to uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah, no, sorry, what do you mean? What's his name? Radford and uh, the Giant, absolute fucking champions they are. Giant, I know you still listen every week. You're a fucking hero. Radford, you're just an absolute sender. Um, but no, as as a collective, that show was a fucking absolute They shit were a show. hillbillies. It was, fucking all, it was horrendous. I mean, it, the, the, the evening was... Evening in the bar was great fun when they destroyed my house. I wasn't too happy and the podcast itself was fucking terrible and everyone's told me it was unlistenable. But there you go. So, yeah, I ain't fucking worried. Well, that was an well, example anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I anyway. wasn't really asking for a fucking answer, Reg. Yeah. No, but if you... It was a rhetorical question, Reg. I don't yeah, care. but you could then ask us questions or other guests saying, say it or shot it. Yeah. That could be that. That could, that could be, be a good... Interesting. Ah! Oh, sorry. I said <laughs> I had something and it burnt my fingers. Um, Hammer. <laughs> That's my suggestion. Well, okay. thank you. I, mean, I, I will take that on board. There you go. Right, listeners, give us your fucking thoughts. Hit us up in the There'll DMs. There'll be a poll up. We'll put a poll up. Put it in your Instagram story. Give us give us your thoughts. Cause Keep you, it or lose you, it. We're just, we're just the ones that do it. You're the ones that got to listen to it. So, you know, fucking, you tell us. If we want us to do a delete, map it out, we can do that. Yeah, okay. So, sweet. Right, awesome. Should we get back into some questions, Marlon? Roger that. Roger, Roger, break up, break up. What have we got here? I'm just going to uh, I got some fucking awful ones now. Um, I've got a lot. I've got a lot of air freshener questions. I won't lie. Go There's a lot. Um, some heartbroken boys. <sighs> Why did the air freshener shut down? Yeah, I've got what's happening with abicooms.com. <laughs> is there going to be something else? <laughs> Yay! There is. Well, we've already talked about it, but www.farminginthefleshcom There you fucking go. Be um, the, we'll link it in the episode description. I haven't on, told we'll you, you guys. What? But I'm going to do your listeners a little discount code. Hey! Yes. yes. What is it going to be? Can we decide? Yeah. Oh, Go for cool. it. Yeah. Uh, Reg loves dick. No, no, no. no. Jilo fucks cats. <laughs> Maybe something a bit shorter. <laughs> Cunt. <laughs> no. <laughs> we can do that. Cunt ten. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, we need to decide because otherwise, listeners are like tapping it in as we say it, and then they're deleting it again. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just keep them guessing for a minute? <laughs> ITDH in it. Oh, All right, yeah. ITDH, yeah, do that then. That's the most sensible With a code. 10 on the end. ITDH um, 10. Yeah. Yeah. You get 10% off. Well, thank you very much. That's very kind That's of you. That's all right. Do that. I'm going to literally do it now as we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> Comes out in two weeks' time. Better do it now so I don't forget. There you go. Right, okay. So we got one from a uh, big follower. Big follower. Uh, John Dem 18. I'm just going to, I'm going to ask it. Fuck it. Uh, have either of them banged in a tracker? Tra- tracker. <laughs> no, but this is like that question that you asked on hey, your man, YouTube. You, you said ask me anything. No, uh, and it was um, banged in a tractor. And what was it like? Spacious, I'd imagine. No, not very spacious at all. And what what model was it? Um, always been a fent for me. No, oh, fucking mama got class. All right, uh, you uh, press so, on with the job. <laughs> another one. Uh, so I've got one here from John M18. Uh, where can I see Olivia's bum? Onlyfans.com slash Coombs. I'm going to send you over to Abby's ass, not mine. Uh, you won't find mine anywhere. <laughs> that shit is private. 
Oh, if you log into Actually, Reddit. it used to be on her Instagram at one point. It used to be on my Instagram. We deleted that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a shame. Log into Reggie's OnlyFans. He's got a camera under the desk. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, she got jeans on. <laughs> Uh, uh, this one's from uh, Eddie Tunstall. Uh, can I put some cartridges on your Mole Valley account? You can keep the tax. <laughs> <laughs> he could, but I don't have a Mole Valley account. What? You need well, to get I, that. I, I don't shop really at Mole Valley. I don't have horses, do I? I sell everything in there. I love going to Mole Valley for a little <laughs> yeah, walk. I right? always love it. Whenever I <laughs> used to come over from it? Ireland, I have to go into fucking Mole Is Valley. Is it like your um, IKEA? Or yeah, it is. Yeah, like you, just, I, you go in there for like two bells of fucking uh, new flake for the horses. And uh, I was like, wow, while I'm in there, I'll pick up a push nose drinker. And uh, oh, fucking, I could do a new pair of eagles. You need oh, to get got, some more Stanley knives. But that's it. Yeah, fucking, yeah. They, got some, they got some zip up eagles here. I'll have a hard pair oh, of eagles. No buckles, mate. Gotta go for the buckles. And yeah, not put nitrile gloves that they haven't had in stock since 1960. Fucking too. Oh, large. don't even. Duh. Don't even. Where is all the Where nitrile the fuck gloves? Are the gloves? Where are all the gloves? Was there some national shortage or something? Well, there mechanics? was during COVID. Yeah, yeah there was. have got them all. Have you right, my any... gloves are my gloves, all right? Oh, you can fuck gloves? off. Yeah, fucking £10 a box no. for your orange and black. Oh, no, I think mine ridiculous. are like 17 quid a box. Of them, yeah, right? I bet you're only getting what? fucking 25 of them as well. No, no, it's a big ass box. Probably got 50 in. Mm, I don't know. It's like fucking 14 quid for a box of 25. No, I love a touch and tough. Mine, the old green boys. I'll have a little look on they? These are the orange ones. Oh, yeah, but for real, well, like Mole Valley is. Well, I love a, I love a waltz around Mole Valley. Yeah, it's, it's like nice. it's, I, don't, I don't think I've ever been. It's like a little oh. day out. It is like what? a little. What? Well, it is a day out. You, not, you, it on is. Sunday, I'm a fucking mechanic. Fucking I'm not. There's so much room. going on in there. There's everything you'll ever want. Everything. Uh, There's bird food. Very exciting. Hey, the finishes. Me? Meat, yeah. drink, bit of cheese. Yeah. Money in there. You can buy clothes. cheese by like five kilos of cheese in a yeah. block. Got your country clothing. Bit of coastal more, cheddar. Look, I'm a few months away from a heart attack already. I don't need any more cheese, all right? <laughs> Nothing more than a bit of cheese. You got DeWalt in there. You got all I don't, I don't like DeWalt. Yeah, fuck yourself. Cheese no walking. <laughs> the next one from uh, Eddie, Tun- Eddie Tunstall. Uh, do you ever wonder whether if God will judge you for your life choices? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're very religious, are you, Abby? Uh, do you care? <laughs> No. <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> what is it? Up for the company, down for the climate. <laughs> no, the other way around, did it? Oh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Granddad always says that. Uh, what well, jobs would you do if you were to change careers from Dan Cod, 76? I would probably go into agricultural sales or marketing. Yeah? Mm. Like selling tractors? Selling tractors. Um, yeah, just I love a bit of marketing, to be honest. And sales, yeah. I'm pretty there with my marketing and social media as such but um i do miss my care work i do find that rewarding mm. so some yeah you of... love you love the end of life care oh, wasn't it? love the end of life it sounds really horrible but i was that... gonna say strange thing to say <laughs> no <laughs> lot, no no i know, I know what you mean, i know what you mean it's yeah it's rewarding yeah you, like people you can give appreciate them the best thing they can have for oh the last... god yeah like sometimes having those last moments as such with them it's lovely yeah, I always thought that when I used to take my mum out to Dorothy House, you know what that is? Dorothy yeah. House, like, uh, I think it's in Wiltshire, I believe. I got, it's been it's fucking eight years since I've been there or more. But, like, it was a hospice. So I used to take my mum there for, like, uh, she either go there for, like, a bit of respite over mm. a weekend or, like, a day, whatever. Honestly, the people that worked in there, I'm I'm looking at them like, how do you fucking do it? I no, I still um, come out for the Dement- Dementia Club every two weeks. Um, actually, so it would have obviously already been, but... Um, Next week, I'm bringing up a little lamb for them no to way. little feed. Yeah. Oh my god! Then we bring a puppy pretty much every week now because one of the girls has a puppy. Literally, one of the little ladies um she sings lullabies to it. Oh. We thought we're we'll bringing in a lamb. We're bringing in a rabbit as well because obviously it's Easter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So they're gonna bottle feed the lamb. It's just the little things that mean so much. Like yeah. So I, I would probably stick to my care work. I do like it, but obviously there's no money in it. Not really. For what you, really? I, don't, I honestly don't know what, what the, the pay for is. For what you do. Yeah, I yeah, trust me. I, I yeah. mean, I haven't been a care worker, but obviously I care for mm. my mum, so I know what's involved. And like, uh, there is no amount of money on this earth that would make me do that again. Yeah. But I think it's mainly because I did it for my mum. I could never do it again. But like, yeah, no, it's like... No, I have to admit, the company I used to work for, You Are My Sunshine, they pay really well considering like... yeah. Everywhere else, you would get nowhere fucking near. But Kate, who runs it, she's like, I know what it's like to be actually a carer and I want to pay the people properly. Yeah. So she's like, best manager going. 
um, and she pays her staff properly. Yeah. Whereas big care companies don't they give fucking a fuck, care. Do they? No, I worked for a big care company, and it was fucking awful. Like. Um, considering it's such heartbreaking work oh god yeah um i said i didn't want to work with clients that had covid considering i did the whole time sent myself away from family to work with people with covid yeah um and then everything was sort of opening back up and they said right it's compulsory you work with covid clients i said i don't want to because my granddad's got diagnosed with terminal cancer i don't want to be the one to bring it in no. they said fine then okay. you ain't got a job uh-huh. yeah they were like that they don't care big companies do not care no, they don't. you are you think is you're disposable you're you, you they'll, they they'll find they'll find another one they're not worried yeah. they don't care yeah Maybe someone else there's someone else walking in the door and when you leave like yeah and when i did leave they're like oh shit ah uh, fuck yeah funny that so but thankfully i went to a better company but just the big companies don't care no. and care i uh got a friend of a friend of a friend allegedly and um he she Gets treated like shit. She's expected, or he is expected, to run fucking ragged around everything. Like she is, um, or he, he is. is ex- she is a Southwest like um, manager. Yeah, gets paid fuck all and does everything mm. above it's and just, beyond. Quarter. Yeah, it's just fucking hideous. Like nobody gets paid properly. I think just being a carer is above and beyond it in and of itself. But to be a regional manager, like fucking Jesus, I can, the I can do it. Is sh- stupid oh i can't the I risk assessment like i obviously then went to admin after that fucking awful we did really well on our cqc inspection but don't get me wrong it's fucking hard work just yeah. doing the paperwork uh i got another one here from robert proctor 995 uh hi how are you abby i'm good thanks how are you are you going to any shows this year um we did previously talk about that but um Definitely North, North Somerset. North Somerset show, which I think is the first of May, Bank Holiday Monday. Hopefully, Honiton show. We do need a few suggestions. Mm. Mid um, uh, not necessarily- Somerset, Mid Somerset, Mid Somerset, right Somerset. There, but not necessarily even down here. We were talking about maybe going further afield. Yeah, because there's a lot of. Like- uh, we have got Devon Truck Show. Yeah, oh, that's not a bad that's show. Not a bad show. Yeah. yeah, and not even just like we're not necessarily that's Honiton looking... Showground again. Yeah, yeah. that's not ne- we're not even necessarily looking for like big shows, like even but like small regional da- shows. Is that two days? Yeah, that's two, two days. days yeah, yeah. Mm. but even like small regional shows within, you know, further afield. Like I can't do any like national. I don't think they like Royal Welsh and that they won't have yeah, me. No, I, I, no. I wouldn't be able to what deal do you mean with they it. They won't <clears> have you. Well, it's the well, product. I haven't tried, but it's not the most... It's probably like family-friendly family product, is it? Like, oh, oh, I thought you meant you attending by yourself. Oh, oh no, that. no, we've been. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, Bath and West Showground, I wouldn't fucking go there with a stand. Like, not really family-friendly. Oh, truck show, mate. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think maybe that's... that's the truck show is the mm. fucking... The place to be. That's not a bad idea. And uh, how was your move? Yeah, very good. Um, very, very stressful. Um, uh, it was when we she, rocked up. She like, lives face. She's like fucking yeah, full on Vietnam flashback over yeah, it. Yeah, because we rocked up and I went into the house. Me and Abby got to the house before the boys with the uh, fucking so, trailers. Uh, basically, did you move with Ivor William cattle boxes? Two. Okay. Hey! <laughs> so, no, it, it, <laughs> no. We it, got- it started on the Friday when I got the keys, and um, Scott decided he was going to work and not actually come with me to see the house. <laughs> So I arrived at this new house Jesus. all on my own. Sub boy. Then I rocked up. <laughs> yeah. I so it looks, like, it looks like two lesbians have turned oh, yeah. up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. a house. Everybody started like coming out of their houses like, who's that over there? Hello, John Connor. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. Because yeah, we were stood out the window and Cooper in between us looking out the fucking window and we're yeah, like, yeah, so we're like, a look like lesbians. pair of lesbians and then yeah, dog. waving at all the neighbors. You see all the Devonians down there. Who's this pair of dykes coming here? <laughs> Um, so yeah that was that and then on the Saturday we oh. came up with the trailers I kid you not I was beyond Help. tired <laughs> I no could joke got back down we only unloaded I think one trailer. no but it wasn't even that we oh, rocked is it, up I, what are they I, is this on the tractor or on the, the, the no, tracks, tracks. But we Tri- triple axles up. no I think they were tandems yeah they were jewels wheels underneath or wheels out of side uh, underneath Oh, the big boys. Yeah. yeah. I like the stuff. They always, always go underneath. Seem fit more cattle in them then. Um, but it was the fact that we rocked up and me and you got there ahead of them. 
And I walked into the house and I was like, Abby, have you packed at all? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, <laughs> and a whole kitchen. No, there was like a few boxes upstairs. The beds hadn't been taken apart. Oh. You got off, one of the beds. Did, one of the beds? To, I needed to sleep in one of them. I know, but I went upstairs and they, they like, sleep I've been on packing, the floor like the trash you are. <laughs> I've been packing the boxes downstairs. I walked upstairs. There's you taking the desk apart. And I was like, Abby, I don't think you needed to take the desk apart. <laughs> <laughs> and we, you're like, we move, through, we move. like <laughs> yeah i didn't know you that <laughs> but no it was all right like it was just it was tiring yes. i came back and i cried and cried and cried i was just like that small toddler that got over tired i've bought a house on my own at 22 i've got a mortgage now <laughs> stuck in devon yeah <laughs> i just cried i was like what the fuck have i done um, you have me now, though. Score, don't worry. <laughs> so, if, if anyone's thinking of buying a house, just um, just, just do maybe. it. Yeah, <laughs> it's real fun. Yeah, freedom. Yeah, yeah, I, know, I think I just got like I was, was tired. Like, yeah. I was tired, and then I went shit. I have got this huge debt just to myself. Like yeah. that is fucking scary. It is when you think about it. Like I have, I owe two hundred and fifty thousand pounds or whatever. That's quarter of a million pounds. I now owe someone. Yeah, and you've got to commit to how many years you've got your mortgage. And you're like, mm. great. Mm. Man, this is a bit real fun. Real fun. I've literally just remortgaged. It's been like an incredible experience. Um, <laughs> but that was fun. Yeah, they're real fun, especially with interest rates at the minute. Oh, what did you get? What percentage? Ash Chief. Oh. Uh, it, it wasn't too bad. I think it's only gone up. 200 quid a month, locked in for five <laughs> years, though. I did five years. I got 4.9%. I want to say ours was like 4.2. Not too bad. That was quite good, actually. Yeah, first but, time buyer, you're yeah, high risk, aren't you? Um, so. yeah. yeah. But I didn't do too bad. They actually um, rejected my first I was going to say, application. without being fucking drilling into it too much, how does that work? Because you're... I'm self-employed, so yeah. they they just go off my numbers. Um, really? Which I did warn them what I did, but... Because um, some people... Yeah, get you, funny about There's it. obviously a yeah. um, risk expiry... Goals on it yeah without um, being fucking yeah. without being a cunt about it they're thinking 30 years down the line oh she's still going to be doing this yeah so um that's also why i changed the business name to future proof it so if i was to go and lose a leg i can now get other girls to come and help take the pictures and i can run the business so i've sort of future proof that can't future proof and only I, fans I no. the first thing you thought of if i lose a leg <laughs> <laughs> well yeah. call me stumpy yeah <laughs> People are into that. It's a niche, I guess. Rule um, 34 of the internet, there is a pawn for everything. <laughs> um, if you lose everything, nugget. Oh! <laughs> you had to go there. You had to. Oh, I, just, I was expecting I tried, it. I, I tried to bite my tongue. It. I just couldn't. Is that because you were a nugget? Not yet. Not so, yet. A little bit of a vegetable, but... <laughs> anyway, they can commit suicide. <laughs> Oh, that was unfair. That was unfair. Um. Anyway, back to mortgages. Um. <laughs> they they just took my um self-employed um figures figures. Um. They didn't average in the end because there was such a difference because I'd only done it for five months on the first year, and then the second year was quite a lot. Um. And so they averaged it out. Um. But they. I thought, obviously, they would be a bit risky with mine. They offered me, I think it was £650,000. You are Jeez. fucking kidding in me. Hell. Yeah, I was a bit like, surely in this crisis... In this climate. Yeah. You you wouldn't be offering someone that. Not the fucking boomers back, boys. Obviously, I didn't go for it because no. you have got to pay it back. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds nice on paper, doesn't it? Yeah. They give um, you a credit card with a seven grand limit. Great! Oh, fuck, it's not my money. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Shout out to Tesco. <laughs> so I, w I was sensible and didn't go for it, but I did think, hmm, that would be nice. Yeah, I know. I had a chat with my mortgage advisor not too long ago, and I was thinking, oh, she's had a pay rise. I've had a pay rise. Let's have a little mooch round. Oh, fuck, you know, as much as that? Really? And I'll be honest, if more if interest rates weren't what they were, I might have made a different decision That's it. to stay in here. Our but then you're was lucky to move that you didn't year. do that and then they go up and then you're fucked later. Well no, on. the thing is once you move, you're locked in for a, again five, another uh, period five of time. Years or whatever. But yeah. our plan this year was to move to somewhere else, maybe a little bit out in the country, a little bit of land. But fucked it's, fucked. it's fucked. At the moment, fucked. No, I'm uh, I'm fucked. very fortunate to get the get the interest rate that I got, which was 
I'm gonna say it actually because I'm upset anyone I'm trying cry, to cry. Probably. Out. Where's the yeah. Where's the crossbow? Not here. I put it up in the spare room. Ah. Fuck you. No, I um yeah, I locked in for five years just before shit at the fan. So I was like, you know what, I got a lot of cheap money. Yeah, I, I started. I, I literally went in and um saw my mortgage advisor the week before shit hit the fan. Yeah, I cried. Well, I didn't literally, but yeah, I could have compared to where it was twelve months ago. Mm. It's fucked. Fuck yeah. You. But then at least I know I can pay it. That's yeah, the good thing. That's the main thing, isn't it? Isn't that it's you you know it's, it's I went certainty. to having to start an OnlyFans to pay my bills because I couldn't afford them to be able to buy my own yeah. house. So I'm very grateful for that. Is it strange? Very. Like looking at it now, yeah, looking it's, back. It's, thinking like I just did this because I couldn't afford to live. Yeah, it's really strange. And um some of the stuff I've been able to do. I was talking to my accountant actually, and he was like like all the things you can do, like you couldn't do that two years ago, three years ago. Yeah, it's just mental. Um, I've, um, I'm not going to name names, but I've let people borrow more money than I ever even thought I'd have in my bank account, let alone be able to help other people. Yeah. So I've been put in a lucky position. Y'all been blessed. Yeah. Well, you say that, but it's. It, it's all your own hard work at the end of the day. I, I really... wouldn't call it hard work, but well, okay, but it is right. it's business minded. It's, really, it's, yeah. yeah, Olivia's hard work. <laughs> <laughs> I just um, take my clothes off. <laughs> no, but yeah. Oh God. Uh, well done, Olivia. Fuck off. <laughs> 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 I'm not taking a credit. <laughs> uh, you got another one here from our man Digger. Shout out to Dave. Uh, How do you like your steak? Medium rare. Medium rare. Yeah, what sauce? I've got to ask Olivia? you about What sauce? Bit of blue cheese. <laughs> that one's for you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking no. I do like peppercorn in fairness, but we yeah, won't. I'm peppercorn. Yeah, medium rare. I don't like a sauce. Right. Oh no, you have to Standard. have sauce with steak. Have a bit of sauce. I, 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 I can take it either way. I can take it dry oh, or um. I think we need to do a shout out to <laughs> Scott, who will not have steak oh. without baked <laughs> beans. Oh no! What? The man is a baked bean fiend. He's a fiend. He's a fiend. If it doesn't fiend. have gravy, it has baked beans, apparently. Yeah. Uh, you can't serve steak oh, with baked beans. No. You can't, serve, like you can't putting... serve sticky barbecue fucking pork with baked beans either, but he does it. So no. I gave him um, sticky barbecue belly pork, and then he won. I gave him vegetables and chips the other night. He got so angry that he didn't have baked beans. He's like, if it doesn't have gravy, it has baked beans. I was like, what? <laughs> So, um, yeah, is he from sauce. Devon? Yeah, Obviously. yeah, right. That's why we love our fucking beans. All right, so I he's just fucking uh, cream on first. Then rare. I, was, that, I put that in the same category of people who put tomato sauce on a roast fucking dinner. Oh, that's... don't! He didn't do that. <laughs> but that no, he's, in, he's, he's in the same circle of. Hell. Oh yeah, 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 like the seventh circle. Uh, who looks better in a thong, Abby or Reg? Coming from our man <laughs> CPRC Gilo. <laughs> I need to see you in a thong first. Uh, Have you got one on now? You must have uh, that one somewhere. No, no, I didn't want the thing. Can I print it on the... Um, oh, no, I mean, like, I'm not freshener. putting one on for you, but there are some pictures of me in a thong. I believe it's... Really? Yeah, I print it on an air freshener. You can do that. I think they're on the website. What? Uh, what? Yeah, sorry, sorry what? Why would they be on the website? Yeah, there you go. What the fuck? No, why wait, am, no, why am I in a thong on the website? You've no, been there wait. since I've been there. Let me see, well, no, let me no, see this. Get to see it. No, I've, I've got a phone. <laughs> I have access to the internet. How yeah. did you not know you took the picture no, to know I what it is? I know I, mean, I took the picture. Oh, you see it, so yeah. you know what I'm doing. You're clenching. Did he not? <laughs> oh, yes, I do yeah, remember yeah. that. Yes, yeah, yeah, I was. Were oh. you abroad? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is that is in my stag do. Czech Republic. No, no, that is... No. I don't say that's a, Snakers no, 30th. Hey, it was just a piss-up. Yeah, yeah. No, just, just I always, a I always wear the thong when we're all on all day. Sometimes I wear it when it's hot, you know? It's, it's, really? It's very spring, yeah. yeah. I know okay. the feeling. Yeah, it is. Like, I'm not being funny, boys. Like, when it's fucking hot and you're wearing the Calvins and they're just sticking to everything, just whack a thong on. It is free and don't, don't, don't knock it till you tried it, boys. The more that's you know. why you buy summer boxers, like... I can't nice, see. They, they, ride, they ride up. They ride no, up. No, not if you buy really, really expensive ones. No. Um, go to go to Primark and get a cheap thong. You'll be all right. I'm all right. They don't fucking do them anymore. Uh, not the right ones. Go on, then, Marlon. What else you got for us here? God, I can't listen to anymore. It's fucking bollocks. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. This is a fucking banger. Uh, Trimble or Green Star? Oh, I don't even know what this means. Abby, oh, Abby, do you know oh. what it means? Abby, yeah, do you do. know what it means? 
Yeah, uh, but I, I wouldn't know. To, right, that's like, from our man, Camoon1234. Come two, three, on now, Reg. What are you going to say? I'm intrigued. <sighs> It's farming, just like no, you know. it's well, I was no, gonna, it's, kind a bit, of a it's the big debate. I was gonna, no, I was trying to, I was trying to even know what it is, but I'm trying to, it's great. Uh, green, green Star green is Star a John Deere GPS, GPS yeah, and yeah. Trimble yeah. is a Trimble GPS. Uh, I so is that what personal. sets it to lines when you're yeah. 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 you put on top of the tractor? tractor. That's yeah. what I mean. Set farming, you wouldn't yeah. understand. I'll no. be honest. <laughs> I, I, I only just. If I'm being deadly honest, the Trimble fetches a better price on Facebook Marketplace when I get ten of the cunts. <laughs> I, I, think... I choose Trimble just because I would go against John Deere in that fact. Although I do realise that precision ag in John Deere is fucking fantastic. It's just, it's it's my principles. It's my principles. I love the fact that every John Deere owner thinks that John Deere have their own satellite. This is a fucking tune, sorry. It is, it. it's Johnny Cash. Yeah. yeah, they're always like, oh yeah, well John Deere have actually got their own satellite. No, they don't. No, John Deere don't have this like John green Deere and yellow satellite fucking... out there. They just, <laughs> Imagine they just, that. They, everyone's like, yeah, well John Deere have got their own satellite with green star. No, they don't. No, they, they, they it, just like everyone else, they have, they rent a they certain amount. Back. Of, yeah, they piggyback on a satellite just for like every other GPS service ever. Um, I don't really know. I don't know. I've, I've never, I've, I've put my hands up. I've never done any arable work at all. I think I hauled one load of grain once oh. when we had a go to barley. Uh, and that was all I cared for. Oh, yeah. I thought it was bollocks. Oh, uh, I just hate seeing the green star dome on anything that's not a John Deere. It just looks really tough. Oh, <laughs> brand <laughs> snobbery. Brand <laughs> snobbery. Sorry. Um, I'm going to get a lot of hate, but I don't care. Um, <laughs> Fuck it, sue me. Uh, I got another one here. Which is, if it wasn't Shaggy, then who was it? Oh, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> that was from Fergus J96. Good uh, lad. That was a good, that was a good question. I don't really that was know. That's a good one. I don't really know. I don't, uh, know where, I don't know where you're getting these from anymore because I can't see any of those. Uh, I'm just finding them. Uh, next one's from Yorkshire Field Sports. Who would win, win in a fight, Boris or Trump? Oh. Trump. 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 Yeah. Trump. Have you seen the man? He's like six foot five. <laughs> Mojo is, is just a bit clumsy. Well, Did you see him trip over that I'm boy fucking him. playing rugby? <laughs> <laughs> what a the meme thing of is, a prime American, minister he is tactical so AF fucking lad. <laughs> he is I, I, I've, I've got a lot of time for him I really do is uh, this to scale yes I think so yeah. no he's, surely not I don't think he's like, that looks, no, he's, that, that's not that's, six foot that's, five that's, that's if you stood him up straight I think it is yeah it? all of the cardboard cutouts on Amazon well, he needs to be are taller. to scale he needs to be taller in that How case he doesn't tall yeah, is do. Trump let's find out he looked uh, like his eyes moved there for a minute he is real oh, sorry I've got a fucking stick uh, oh, sorry. No, sorry. He's he's six three. He's six three. I'm no, that's yeah. That's probably to scale yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. He's he's. That's like all Amazon that. cutouts are to scale. That's why Hasbro is four foot fucking enough on. Uh, this one's from Cam Davy. Can I get free air fresheners? XOXOX. <laughs> Gossip girl. Sorry, I'm not a charity. Hey! <laughs> You've got the discount code though. Uh, yes, he's looking for the violin. Go. He's looking for the violin. No, I was looking for fuck your life, but. <laughs> Nonch. <laughs> <laughs> this one's to Abby from Subaru K11. Uh, have you ever had any unwanted watchers while filming or doing shoots in a oh, field? That guy last year when we were doing it for Shillam, he pulled up at the gateway. Yeah. The Vulture. Oh. Sorry, I'm just playing with a straw. I was going to go more Steve Yendall. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Go on, Emma, <laughs> tip, let's both of them. Actually, I can't fully disclose Steve Yendall's photo shoot no um but right. let's just say there were invites basically put out ah, no I got there was a couple of people Abby there that we were on this date at this time yeah. Thing, yeah yeah and um in regards to um Dave Shillam there was a guy that yeah. called in to talk so to basically <laughs> we were borrowing um it, we were on someone else's land yeah. that Dave asked them yeah um and then the owner turned or up some no. Um, of the land, basically. Um, yeah. Um, Ollie Bloggs had a lot of um, yeah, that was <laughs> a, quite a big audience. That was and a lot of them were people <laughs> underage. Let's say. Oh Jesus! They were under the age of eighteen, and I uh, poor poor boys. <laughs> um, poor that boys. was uh, that was we were it was a working environment on the day. So obviously, when we went up and did the shoot with Ollie, he was actually combining. So the combine was working in the background and obviously all the trailer drivers and whatnot were there as well waiting to be filled up like, you know, chasers and such. Um, so yeah. 
But it was a good, it was a good day. Yeah. It was stubble yeah. that day as well, but not that kind of stubble. Yeah. Oh, we've already been through. Yeah, we've yeah. Been, that's why I said I better like correct it ahead of time this time. Yeah. Um, um, I would say that's the only main watches. Um, pointing out the, the JCB black icon. fast track. There was um, Drew Hurst. The, the, Drew, the, Drew Hurst. The, Drew Hurst. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I think it was something else. Um, fucking gone now. It's gone, man. Gone. I had another one as well, and I can't remember it. Go for it. I can no, I can't remember it. Are uh, <laughs> you listening? <laughs> hey, hey, Dewhurst, I think they left. They left. A lot they, of the time, in fairness, a lot of the time people are very good and they look, leave you to it. We um, had nothing for that. Nothing for that, although there was a lot of houses down over. We had to be very careful where you were positioned. Oh, you had to um, kind of, we had to be very careful with where we parked in the grain shed that day that we did the photo shoot with the black fence that first time because of the CCTV. <laughs> remember? No, that was with Polly. No, no, no. The one we did the, for last year with the double fence before we did it with Polly. <laughs> with me beacons. That was it with the beacons. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can draw your own conclusions from that list. It's pretty fucking obvious. Um, I wish I had a face on camera then. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I don't think we had any other bad, like, bad ones. I'm trying to think of which ones we did now. <laughs> my mum came to one. Oh, she did, yeah. Yeah. New Holland, yeah. My mum came to Nearly one. I'm a came stepdad. Walking, yeah. <laughs> came it was walking. actually my stepdad's cousin. Um, and came walking around when you when we were doing the lying down on the New Holland. Um, yeah. I, I, I had to tell her to go because I was like, I can't do this in front of my mother. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, mum. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I got to pay the bills. I think she wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> told her to go on. Um, <laughs> Like, go on. Go on. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I don't think there was any. And we were very close with the ARX. We were trying to get that done before anybody came around to yeah. the workshop. Um, no. All of a sudden, everyone needs to get a 13 mil spanner. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, very hard to find a decent fucking spanner. <laughs> oh, I went searching for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one comes from uh, Queen Bee, the Queen Bee, tru- uh, the Queen Bee trucker. Uh, why do you feel the need to take your clothes off in a male-dominated job? Because that's what makes the money. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, um, you're not wrong. I'm not being funny. It, it, it's all sells. Yeah, sex um, sells, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not out there claiming to go be some feminist equal rights here. Um, it sells. So, it's Fuck just em. what works. It... it it wasn't meant so you to got be a, what it was. No, and you got a niche in the market there. There's... Yeah, nobody else does <laughs> it. Um, I do. I do sometimes. Not feel bad, but I'm like, there are some girls working out there to try and be equal, um, and I know I'm taking a step backwards for them. But then you have the same situation with blokes. Like there are some blokes out there which all they do is get the dick out. Mm-hmm. Some people they're, send they're, it to you for free when diff- you don't fucking want it. If somebody exactly. asks you <laughs> <laughs> now, you've obviously just seen what I've earned. Yeah. And you're telling me you wouldn't do what I'm doing for that money. I know uh, that people go out there and go, Would you have a sex take for a million pound? But actually when you've put the numbers there. It, yeah, if you put a million pound in front of somebody and said, Would you do a, a, a sex scene for a million pound? Yeah. That, yeah. That's life changing money. Yeah. That's life changing money. Well, if like- it was an actual option and yeah, you could earn a million pound, what, what? I get my dick out most weekends for free. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, honestly, <laughs> that if, if I was graced with a pair of tits, uh, I, I, think, I think I would. I think it was a, I have the kind of don't care attitude anyway. And I did yeah, have that's the it. conversation with mum. At the end of the day, you get to the end of your life where people are being paid to wipe your ass. That it, all your dignity is gone. Gone. I don't know why that's you're trying to fucking, hold that's it. That's a really good point. You're, you're looking at that. Your whole life, you're trying to hold on to your dignity. It's fucking out the window as soon as you get older. Yeah. D- don't worry, Virgil, we ain't got any. Exactly. But that's fine. You've not tried to hold on to it for your whole life. No. Like, we don't give a fuck. We, we, I, I, we are full See, send. now that's changed everything, hasn't it? I well, know, I know. I never had any preconceived ideas of it full stop. I've always been like, you fucking carry on through what you fucking want. Like, more power to you. I've always, like, my missus has always been like, God, I wish I had the like bollocks to do it or this, that, and the other. <gasps> um, Can we have her on an air freshener? 
What, doll? Yeah. Oh, Christ, don't play. Yeah, can we do her? <gasps> she is, could is, do it in she's, the she's, doghouse one. She's her own woman. She can do exactly what she wants. I will never hold her back from a damn thing. I've always said, anything you want to do, within fucking reason, obviously, I will support you. But, Good uh, fucking woman. But what? Good fucking woman. I thought you said she did fuck a woman. I was like, <laughs> hey, yo. News well, to me. Where, where the, was where I? Where is the videotape? Where is the videotape? That wasn't what she did for a million pounds. Hey, yo. <laughs> Dude, not driving that fucking Citroen C1. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I But just... yeah, don't fucking hold on to your dignity, people. It's gone out the window when you're older. I like it, man. It's a, yeah. it's a, it's a really good response. I, I, I'm all for it because <laughs> I, I, the thing is, I see it nowadays in the back in the day. Obviously, you do a sex scene or whatever, like not so much only fans, but you do like a sex scene, and it gets circulated around on these tube sites, and it pretty much becomes worthless, and you don't make any fucking money out of it. Whereas with OnlyFans, you own all of the content yourself. You look at Kim Kardashian. She got to where she did with the sex tape. Yeah. What, uh, her, well, her, I mean, what you think of her personally doesn't really come into it is the fact that you've got her mother, Chris, the puppet master, oh, I call yeah. her, who is like the... The momager. The momager. Uh, honestly, I've never known a marketer manager. Quite like it. But she has turned five girls. Is that five? right? Yeah, five. Five, yeah, five, yeah. five girls. I thought there was only three. No, it yeah, was there's three, three and, and then they got the two generals. And then they've got Rob. Oh, Lord. And, I know, it was and Rob, Rob yeah. was kind of And then you've got Shagnuts, which has now got a vagina, not dick. Um, oh, oh, what's oh, um, 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 Bruce. Caitlin. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> don't dead name him. <laughs> 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 I don't care. But yeah, no, I, I, I think like what they've done is incredible. You can say what you want about the Kardashians. You, you can't, the one thing you can't say they is work. you can't call them yeah. talentless. No. You, everyone's like, oh, they've, they've got, the... got a fucking good business mind. Like, yeah, that's it. Kylie's nigh on a billionaire. Kim yeah. is, you know, They're just... all irritating as fuck, I but they got a lot of money. money. I, watched lot some document... I watched a documentary on them back along on like Channel 4 and it was all about the rise of Kim Kardashian and it was so incredible as to how she that's did it. unbelievable, really. Just took everything. Everything that came her way. She opened a shop or like did some sort of promo for Charmin where you wipe your fucking ass with. Yeah. She's there taking pictures, fucking holding up toilet right, roll. I'm emailing them, them next fuck. week. Like it's it is unreal. Like I just I'm just like whatever, just do whatever. Like you're just yes, you had a sex tape leak. You were uh, she was a. I don't Pat agree Carousel. with sex tapes being leaked. No, 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 no. no, no. no. But no, what she did, she made the best <laughs> out of that bad bit. situation. She, like literally, she got handed this on a plate. Uh, this this was what came down the pike for her, and she was like, how Fuck can it. I make how can I make this She's work? She's a fucking for me? lawyer as well. Yeah. Yeah, man. This fucking it's it's mental. Yeah, considering she was shit. Paris Hilton's PA, and yeah. now she's like you know probably her, one her of, own thing. Yeah, she's probably one of the most well-known women in the world. I'd say oh, definitely crazy, crazy, crazy shit, man. Also, I, I still won't watch the series. On, um, I don't know whether you've heard the story about um, Bear. Um, oh, what a fucking documentary that was! Have you seen it? Yeah. Holy shit! Um, about Stephen George... Bear in Georgia. Oh, what a prick! Sorry, I think that deserves a sweet word, Olivia. Um, <laughs> naughty, um, naughty. Yeah. Um, you know what this is? She is that is the the fucking dickhead. The dickhead who leaked um, the CCTV sex. So they had him and his sex girlfriend. on CCTV. No, no, I have absolutely no idea. Oh, I was Bear. thinking was about Spin. Spin. You were no, young. He, the only way is Essex. He it? won um, um, Big Brother. Oh, maybe. No, but he was on one of the reality shows. Yeah, well, he's been like, on loads. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and he she was, was Love Island, wasn't she? They weren't actually together when they had sex, were they? No, they were on off, on off for ages, yeah, weren't they? Yeah, and it was on his CCTV. What's his surname? Stephen, Stephen Bear. Bear. And he went and sold it on OnlyFans. So he took he the CCTV footage of them having sex in his house, then put it garden? on... Garden? Oh, sorry, a garden, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I recognise that. You just cunt. Fresco. Then put it on... Oh, fresco. Sorry. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. That was making light of a situation that I shouldn't have made light of. <laughs> no, that was good. I like it. If the joke lands, it's good. To turn up in outfits like that to court. Both of them. No, him. I didn't see the, no, I didn't see the Georgia outfit. Georgia looked incredible. Oh, boss yeah. as fuck. And then you've got Stephen that turns up in a fur coat oh, with a cane and a cigar. Pink suit. Yeah. What are you going for? Looking for it. I'm getting the word. Nonsense. Nuts. Yeah. So yeah. he's doing 21 months and then he's got to be on the sex offenders register. Oh, which is sucks a, to be him. Which is a, but that I think is what's a, awful is he still profited out of this. Yeah. £72,000 or little, something. He shouldn't be allowed that money. 
No. I'm surprised he no, didn't. Should be taken I'm, and gone I'm surprised he, he should have a fine. He didn't have to pay. Uh, was Her. it victim compensation? Well, yeah, surely or whatever. he should have had the money that he's earned and off of but that. But she's got money. From him. Businesses won't won't work for her. Yeah, yeah. What a fucking joke! Because of this. But I think I think the documentary was on ITV, wasn't it? Yeah. It was fucking amazing. It was so good. It was so because I knew about it ish. Kind of didn't really keep up with it. Whatever she knew about it, and then I watched it. I was like, man, this girl's boss is fuck like an absolute champion. I hope she. Yeah. Just well out of that. Yeah. She should. She should do. You shouldn't have to go through that to do well. No. And it was kind of a landmark case as well, wasn't it? Yeah, because oh, it's yeah. like one of the first ones that have been properly prosecuted, wasn't and it? And actually got jail time for it, which yeah. everyone was like, I was like, when when it started, I was like, I don't Yeah, like he's not going to be let off, isn't it? It'll be some fucking uh, what suspended they sentence. Yeah. Suspended sentence. Uh, that's it. Yeah. 24 months arrest. fucking it'd probation. Be on, it'd be on tag and he might get a bit of a fine. And then I was like, oh shit, 21 months in prison. Oh, you can go get Fucked in it. Which I do. I had problems back, I think, two, three years ago um, with OnlyFans, and um, they didn't deal, the police didn't deal with it no. very well. So I think there's definitely been uh, a lot more, a lot more done. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. I think now the police have caught up. They know what's going on, they know the laws, and you can't fuck about with it anymore. No, you know, it just you shouldn't be able to fuck around with it. No. So. What, just a quick question before we sort of wind down. What is the what is the deal with the pictures that are on there? So let's say, for instance, your OnlyFans, the pictures are on there. If I save them, am I breaking the law? Yes. Really? Because they're what? copyrighted. You don't own them. The site, like, well, not the site owns them, but you own them. Yourself, what you mean. Yeah. 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 So you can't, like, anyone who shares those images... Um, is... Can be done for... Yeah. Illegal. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Yeah, so you can't even like download it, or if you want to watch all no, the videos I, or anything. No, that's why I do um, the digital downloads on the website. If you want them as screensavers, oh, then I, I send see. it like that. So you can have it as a screensaver. You can't go and fucking send it to your mate, but you can have it as your screensaver. Yeah. But there's obviously laws around that. You can't go and share it. Like, I know probably you've seen a lot of stuff um, on your site of stuff that shouldn't be released on your. What's your oh, the Discord. Discord. Yeah, yeah, there's some horrendous shit on there. Yeah, yeah but, but that's probably been on OnlyFans and has got leaked somewhere. And I don't know whether people have got in the shit for it, but it's got so far out that you can't, can't reel really it back, reel it back yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I know there is quite a well-known girl who fucked a um. Traffic cone. No. <laughs> Shout to Rebecca Goodwin. No. <laughs> Literally, what is going on with my head today? I don't know what you're trying to Can't say. Come out with words. Um, a fork. Um, a pitchfork. Oh, yeah. Uh, not a no, no. I was like a fork on the top, uh, like a, a loading of shovel. Yeah, <gasps> pallet fork. And that oh has, my god. She did that on OnlyFans, and it has got out. Jesus I do feel bad for her because she's lost a lot of money. But yeah, I feel for her in the state that she yeah. fucked a pallet fork. She wouldn't be able to walk for a week, kind of job. You no, see tractor, what? but yeah. John Wayne order fuck. Good lord! I mean, well, uh, uh, words evade me in that. <laughs> Jesus Christ! So uh, yeah. Do you know what I thought? I know this is like kind of not sort of pandering, but if you download a picture and you send it on, I always thought like, why can there not be like a a thing that comes up and stops you from doing it? Because no. it's not an app. No, because no, 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 not that. If you download a picture <clears> and say, if you download a picture and you send it on, like, why is it not included in your metadata that has been through your phone? Yeah. Oh, like a traceability kind of thing. Yeah, like a, like like we can't. I think they'll catch yeah. up with it soon. I think. Yeah. Well, I don't. It's think, only I don't a matter of time. There's no, there's no appetite for it, is there? Really? Who the fuck wants to have a phone that if you send a picture on? It has a little tag that say you forwarded this. No one will buy that phone, will they? No one will use that operating system. Really but if it's, no, but, but they're going to catch up on it with updates and such. Yeah, if mm. it's implemented Children. in every yeah. single oh, fucking yeah. 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 If you're looking at if... paedophiles, oh, they're yeah. gonna get. They'll have to. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to catch up on technology in a minute because if you, won't be able to f you do get people like that, they'll be able to click through, like get through them quick as anything. That'll and... be a hell of a fucking roundup. Yeah, and it'll be a fucking good, like good Can we roundup. Shoot them all? Not like I don't know. I think when it comes to stuff like that, I think the the use of the sort of it's the same when it comes to gun rights you can use the extreme to push through a bit of legislation that in, sort of encroaches on a lot of people's rights so you can say oh we're doing it to protect the children but on the other side of things it's like well I just want to send a fucking funny meme to my mate that's a little bit spicy <laughs> you know am I going to get thrown in jail for sending <clears throat> this I guy? don't th we don't have enough fucking jail spaces to no uh, but it'll be it every be, single it, it you'll be, be in there for fucking 
years and years and years, mate, with the shit you send. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's not, in, there's not enough space for you now, <laughs> let alone in fucking five years when they've caught up with this shit. Take me in a broom cover, Jag. I'll probably <laughs> blend in with a fucking brush. <laughs> <laughs> You're not stickball. Um, <laughs> once they, I think there should be something like this. They're going to catch up. They will catch up. It's like I don't think they give a fuck about your spicy memes at the end of the day because everyone is like, that, but it's been people. It's only if somebody reports your spicy meme, surely. I don't know. That oh, that's, been... a, that's an everyday event. Well, I was going to say, but they're not going to be tracking that. Well, you that. remember, you remember the <laughs> famous case of the gentleman from Scotland who made his pug do the Nazi salute. No, no. Yeah, he's a, he's a YouTuber. He's called Count Dankula. He's a fucking brilliant YouTuber, and his series Mad Lads is just the best thing in the world. I fucking love it. Anyway, he, as a joke, came home from work, and he, he his wife had a pug, and it was like he saw it as like his little handbag dog. So he thought, oh, it's a joke. What I'll do. I'll get the pug to do like the little Nazi salute and he had like some uh, some old footage of Nazis and uh, when he said like Hitler or something like that he put his little paw up like that put it on YouTube ha 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 very funny yeah he got um, done under like hate speech but what I don't get is it's a George, fucking joke Georgia mate. Harrison had to fucking fight for yeah, however yeah, yeah, long yeah, yeah and he but... they were looking it was like he went to the European Court of High uh, Europe in Court of High Appeals or whatever it was, High Court of Appeals. Fucking joke. Yeah, and in, in the Focus end... Focus on the shit that matters. Took, like, the actual I shit. it took like three, four years, this whole process, and in the and end... And how they, much money was wasted there? Exactly. And do you know what they did? They fined him £800, and he said, I'm not going to pay it, and so they took it out of his account. <sighs> £800 for... Three, four years? Yeah, that work, yeah. Fucking That's probably a million quid worth of fucking... Can you probably earn more than... The problem, Out of that, the, the problem then, in this country is yeah. we don't have freedom of speech. We don't have freedom of speech. No, you we don't. And we've no. learned that through Instagram. We've learned that through TikTok. We yeah. cannot say whatever we want. We cannot do whatever we want. No. Which is... So what are your... I don't know how your podcast works. Do you not have any restrictions on that? There are no restrictions. Do you think there will be one day? Yeah. Um... <sighs> no, no I don't... I don't... I don't... I think oh, there will I be restrictions, know, but know. when there are restrictions, we'll just move base. Yeah. That's because like are... when OnlyFans <clears throat> was going to shut down, everyone was just going to move to another site. Pocket yeah. Stars or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I... Did uh, you just move back to Patreon, like, to do the podcast over there? That's what we do. Um, yeah. Or like, but the thing is, you just do less than your audience. Usually, the moment you put it behind a paywall, it's different with OnlyFans, but we put this kind of thing behind a paywall. Yeah. People are so used to getting it for free. Yeah. You put it behind a paywall, your, your audience just drops off a fucking cliff. Yeah. And you know, you don't see any growth. But there I, are a shitload of hosts and sites for I, podcasts. Uh, yeah, there is. Yeah. I mean, like, the thing is, if we got cancelled off of Google Podcasts, we were like, all right, fine, we're already on six others. Yeah. At least. Like, it just, I don't know. I, I think the freedom of speech thing is coming back round. I think people are so fucking tired of being told what they can and can't say and what fucking, and what you should be calling someone and you identify as this or that. And it, it just, yeah. it, it, I think there's a backswing coming. And uh, that is mainly being pushed forward by Jordan Peterson. Um. Oh fuck me! What's his What's his name? He runs. He owns the Daily Wire. Ben Shapiro and uh, Matt Walsh. Matt Walsh. Those three guys are literally spearheading this whole. Fuck you. Fuck your feelings. If you're offended, that's great. Don't but I don't. I don't have to care. Yeah. They you know that kind of thing. And that's Ben what... Sharpio. Watch him <laughs> on YouTube. Yeah, Ben Shapiro. Fucking incredible. Yeah. So it's Matt Walsh. He did a great podcast with Joe Rogan, and Joe Rogan agreed with a lot of the stuff he said. But when it came to like abortion and stuff, Joe Rogan really challenged him on that and gay marriage. It was really interesting. It was a really good conversation of two guys that had agreed on certain things, different and had opinions, massively yeah. different opinions on the other thing. But it's just great to listen to. And that is it, what a podcast should be. Just it was just two guys, and he was like, he was like, I don't agree with these gender this this whole thing that gender is a spectrum, and I think it's absolute bollocks, and we're denying absolute biology and facts. And it's it's so good. If anyone gets the chance, you should really watch a documentary called Matt Walsh. What is a woman? Fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. I mean, it hasn't really got an agenda. It's just it's just asking these sort of uber left-wing liberals about like you know but what is a woman and, then, and they can't answer it the whole thing is based around this question of what have you is seen a woman? the uh, south park and it's like, what is again truth? that's resurfaced recently uh no no all right i'll send you the link i like the one of uh seen the family guy one of uh you know uh quagmire's dad is a transgender in that and uh he goes up he's, he's at the bar and the barman says uh 
excuse me, sir, can you stop watching pornography at the bar? And he goes, sorry, I'm transgender. He goes, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Do whatever you want, whenever you want. <laughs> <laughs> you get to do what you want any of the time. Yeah. And I was like, well, I, any excuse. Anyway, we get way, way off the fucking deep end here into some proper fucking political bullshit. Right, you got any more? I think we're pretty much done, boy. Yeah? Yeah, sweet. Right, awesome. Wait a minute, let me just recheck... Uh, one quick shout out before we go. Massive, massive shout out to the sponsor of this episode, Orly Fox, the accountant's the fucking can. You heard Kieran. He he's literally a phone call away all of the time. He is the he, he he's just he's there. You know, he knows his stuff. He's not fucking daft. Um I cannot recommend his services enough. He is literally just a just a fantastic all round guy and he's not He's not one of these real stuffy, you know, accounts. He's just, he's just a normal guy. A genuine bloke. Who is there and to he'll help, help you get your air freshness through the books. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's just, uh, he's going to get he's, so many calls now. He's just brilliant. He's just brilliant. I love him. That's but, yeah. good marketing. Yeah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> just ring him. Go on, ring him. Just ring, ring him. About your air there you go. He's literally a phone call away. So yeah. Massive... That is proof in the pudding. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. I rang him that. at 10 o'clock on a fucking Friday and the man picks up. Right, Reg? Yeah, I got, got a tax question for you, Karen. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, if you've got, uh, he does, so you've got tax returns, PAYE, bookkeeping, um, self assessment, anything to do with that. Just hit up your man. You, you just know he's going to do a better job than your account. You know, <laughs> you, you just know it. I fucking put money on it, mate. I reckon I would as well. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, wait, we'll... Hold tight, hold tight. Oh, right, I got a couple of shout outs. Uh, shout out to Josh Jennings. Uh, Joshua Bleasdale, Robert Demery, Simon Davis, and uh, Massage Sack. Sweet. Thank you for ordering. We fit the boogie then? Yeah. Awesome. Let's get it done. Right. Thank you everyone for, everyone for listening. You've been great. I've been Reg. I've been Marlon. I've been Olivia. <laughs> Sorry, Abby was like nodding yeah, at me. I was like, you go first. I don't know what you were saying. I was like, are you okay? I thought you were saying you look fucked. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, Let's, I just saw the F word. Do, 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 do you want to start that again? No, no, no you've fine. done it now. No, no, it I've it. been Abby. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and that's the end. Aww. Aww. Until next week. Yay! Yay!